There's also freaking on Steam, there's Seduce Me 2. <laughs> I see that now. Seduce yeah. Me 2. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> I want to see what fun things Narkin has played on Steam. <laughs> Narkin has played some pretty fun things, I saw them before. And Call Clonad, him out on that's, stream. That's normal. Clonad, Danganronpa. How do I see all games? Here we go. You go to his games. He only has like... 30 something. I like that one of them was Seduce Me. <laughs> yeah. He has 6.5 hours of Crush Crush. Hey, excuse, wait, how many. Wait, I have a friend that played Crush Crush. How many hours does he have? Wait, isn't that Hold a fun on. game? Uh, it is. The Steam version isn't. A friend they can, told me. They can, make, they can make it the porn version now. <laughs> they have freaking. They have freaking booty calls. <laughs> they That's do. I'm aware. You're aware. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna sneeze. My friend my friend that also played Crush Trust has played <laughs> 80 hours in it. 80 hours? 80? Yeah, 80. That's probably mostly like idling. That's probably like an idling game. It is. It's a freaking clicker game. It's three hours in Honey Cam Studio. <laughs> Ooh. But I mean, that's not technically a porn game. Hmm. He played Go Go Nippon. <laughs> oh, oh. My first trip to Japan. I'm very happy. Friggin' this friend this friend has four four hours in Honey Pop. What the That's not as many hours as you should ever have in Honey Pop. Zero he also, three hours also, in Sakura Clicker. Here's so, here's something great for uh, for this friend as well. He has all the achievements in Deep Space Waifu. <laughs> I like he has played bad rats. Oh dude! Freaking great! It's a quality game. Quality game. Yeah, yeah. I just looked at. I just looked at the thing. Yep, this this friend has all the achievements in Deep Space Waifu and three hours in it. That's really short for having all the achievements. Oh my goodness. Right. This guy's like too much Stellaris. I'm just gonna ignore that. I wish I had one more dollar. I also wish you had one more dollar. We we all wish you had one more dollar. I shouldn't have put money into Paladins on the Switch. But I wanted to. I'm gonna go ahead and start this game. Okay. I like the Honey Pop is on Narkin's wish list. <laughs> yeah, d Narkin? What six, else is on his six, wish list? 652. Okay. Visual novels. Surprise. It is I, I can't go. Surprise. Surprise. <clears throat> Remember to remember to wait until I say that you can start doing things. Mm -hmm. Anime Studio Simulator. Chrono Trigger is on Steam. I didn't know that. Wait, Chrono Trigger is on Steam? Interesting. Apparently, I freaking downloaded it onto my DS. Skip. I'm gonna always name him Wiz now. That's not freaking creeping. Good, good boy, Wiz. Good boy, Wiz. Good boy, Wiz. Freaking, you know what? I'm just gonna. Here, I'll ma I'll match up with you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'll match. It still works with my name. They'll be like adopted, like siblings. <laughs> Good. <clears throat> I like the game called Let's Not Stay Friends. Freaking Monster Pop stupidest pop quiz. A radioactive possum just bit you. What superpower did you get? The superpower of always choosing the right combination of emojis to get the desired reaction from all people, seducing my loved ones, burning my enemies, settling an argument, and even can conveying complex emotional thoughts. <laughs> That's the power I need. What is this game? The, incredi prom. the incredible power of writing fanfiction so compelling that the actual creators of the TV show decide to go with my ideas and crazy ships. Oh, Monster Prom's not what I said that in response to. <laughs> oh. Evil forces have turned these five hunky beefcake time displaced <laughs> boys into animals. <laughs> Juice! <laughs> I'm having fun. Ravies, I go to the hospital immediately is the other option. I'm contributing to the stream. 
freaking. I want. I want to. I want to freaking <coughs> use the right emojis for everything. You wish you were raised by a pack of wild wolves who also happen to tech. Those happen to what? Tech moguls. Be tech moguls who own some of the most pro profitable companies of Silicon Valley. I should get the stream up on my phone. Oh hi, Lem Pop. Oh. Thanks for following. Thanks indeed. And Narkin's here and too. And hi, Narkin. <laughs> oh, we should have gotten Narkin to join. Narkin, do you own Monster Pro? Oh yeah, you do. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Narkin, can you join? Narkin. We'd we'd probably start over, yeah, because we yeah. just we didn't even start the game yet. Narkin, still... buy me mon buy me Monster Pro. <laughs> Yeah, broke college who didn't buy this boy monster from. Give me one dollar. <laughs> he literally needs but the single dollar. Oh, Aww. Narks. Oh, Narks. Narks. <laughs> ah, let's see. A pack of wild wolves who also happen to be tech moguls who own some of the most profitable companies of Silicon Valley. They would be kick-ass role models and wild wolves. Sick. A mysterious old man who saved me from the streets in order to raise me as a disciple in the ancient ways of Radishi. A really progressive marriage between a kick-ass venomous snake and an actual fire. I love fire, and I see no issue with being raised by it. Damien. <laughs> that is that is literally just Damien. That is Damien. <clears throat> hmm. I, I want a rad DJing. <laughs> Let's see, ice cream flavor. Success, tequila and coke. <laughs> Spicy chocolate, no, chocolate on fire. Rainbows and gummy bears, double cream de la gruer, and marrying meat. meat. <laughs> hmm. I like meat too much, I can't get married. Meat. <laughs> You could get married and like me. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I like when Sarah gets close to the mic. This there is is real nice. Oh my god! <laughs> Rainbows and gummy bears. You're an up and coming summoner and a lover of monster girls. <laughs> who do, who doesn't love having ice cream the flavor like tequila and coke? So Sorry, Lynn. We we don't want ice cream meat. We want meat meat. Yeah, <laughs> not ice cream meat. We just want meat. All the meat. Endless meat. I don't know what I want to do. Okay, wait. Wait till I'm done loading. I don't even know who I want to go for. Uh, hold on. I'm thinking. Good, good that it, you have to wait for me to load while you think. Yeah. Hmm. I think I want to go for Liam. Well, you chose Miranda, so okay. The game, the game loaded. I just have to turn this game back into my favor. Do it. You got this. Okay, you can you can choose your thing. Okay. You got this. So smarts. <clears throat> Listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monstrous nonsense, the dating in the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. You gain two smarts. Yay, smart. Udanari quest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Oh. <laughs> this is why the mature content setting is on. Yeah. It's coming soon. And so am I. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Juice! Juice! Look, this is a mature stream. <laughs> this is a very mature stream. Very. <laughs> is this game relevant to you? Sarah, just read. I can't even. Ignore me. Yeah, ignore me. <laughs> Without meaning to, you find yourself in conversation with Polly and Miranda, comparing the apps on your phones. 
<laughs> oh, what you got, Miri? What you got? Well, I had this game, Misunderstanding of Mobs. I'm not entirely mm. sure how to play, but I keep winning, so that's nice. I also oh got Scepter, which is like Uber, but for surfs instead of cars. And Spooner, which is like Grinder, but for silverware. You know, I like my ele I like my apps elegant and majestic. I like this. I'm That's just gonna DM this to you, son. <laughs> Why? Because it made me laugh. <laughs> it's just <But> a picture. <laughs> I can't, jeez. Oh, my oh my god, I gotta look. God damn it. This is all going downhill. <laughs> this is all going pretty, like, mid-hill. That's some nice, like, hair art, though. <laughs> <laughs> I say, looking at the head and hair and not at the rest of whatever the fuck this is. It's President Yukino. The Slice of Life RPG. Brought to you in native English and Chinese. Did you stop? I can't. <laughs> That's pretty cool, but do you have rap chat? It turns all your messages into raps, but you can only see them for eight seconds. Wow, what about you, Wiz? What fun apps do you have? Yeah, impress us with something rad. An app that can make tigers appear anywhere. There's nothing as majestic as a tiger. Oh, man. Not much, just this one app I, I made that turns my phone into a rad car. Hmm. I don't even know what these would be. Uh. 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 Duh. I think. Okay, I don't actually know. <laughs> if any of them are boldness, you don't have the boldness. Oh right. God, I want to. I want to read this list out. Juice. Juice. <laughs> this is a game in which the sexual themes include male x female, female x female, <laughs> multiple male x female, male x multiple female, multiple male x multiple female. Open friendly attitude towards promiscuous <laughs> women. Oh. Towards promiscuous women. As a result of losing a battle, the protagonist will usually have sex with the victor. Uh. Um, Human fantasy species such as goblins, werewolves, halflings, etc. Unprotected uh, sex, anal sex, having sex in an open public place, sexual blood-related family members in a fantasy world. <laughs> Do I have permission penis, to move, penis, juice? Penis, yes. Penis, big breasts, very big. <laughs> no. <Why> is juice. <laughs> That was too far! God damn it, Juice! We are not in loot chat right now. Luckily, they don't care. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, Nargan, don't Narkin, encourage no, him! No, don't encourage him! <laughs> <laughs> Is he still reading it out and not noticing he was moved? <laughs> I really hope he is. <laughs> that would be great. Uh, okay, I'm going to do... Mm. Well, Juice, you haven't been silenced. The last well, one wait. sounds like hmm. boldness to me the most. It does sound like boldness. And I don't have the boldness, so See hopefully... <laughs> See, Narkin, we, like... would, we would let Juice speak freely, except we can't get on with the Boston Rob. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'll stop reading things on Steam. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! But that was funny! It, I mean... <laughs> it was a little far. It... Hey, it was charming the first oh. one, and I have the most charm. Why was that charming? I don't know. Is it because of the majesticness of the, of the tiger? The, the tiger was charming. Tiger was very charming. I agree. <laughs> oh my, my head is swimming with the myriad uses of such an app. Our royal zoo has been tigerless ever since the tigers drowned in their underwater cages, which was immediately. We have been looking for a way to replenish our supply ever since. And you know what I say, it's not a real party until there are tigers literally everywhere. Is that so? How many real parties have you been to then, Polly? None. Yet. Ooh. Miranda purchases the app and a bunch of raw meat while ordering new cages for her family zoo. Polly asks her if she can borrow a tiger or two for her next party. What could go wrong? You gain two fun and one charm. Narkin, we would get Juice Monster Prom, but he's a dollar short, and we can't do anything about it. And he won't make a Kofi so that he can immediately get the dollar into his PayPal and not have to wait a day. <laughs> How much effort does it take to make a Kofi? Like, none. I made it in, like, 
three minutes. Fine. <laughs> to the bathrooms. The day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms, because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give zero shits, but you gain two boldness. Yay. Yay. After Yay. your eavesdropping on Miranda and Polly waiting for the perfect moment to mention your influx of Insta followers when... Never fear, my ladies! You need not fight over me! <laughs> oh goodness. Him again! As royalty myself, I must say that even I find him to be- what's the term you used, Polina? Extra AF! Friendship between two beautiful maidens shouldn't be soured over one as handsome, rich, and humble as I. But worry not, my sweet summer salads. <laughs> I have found the perfect solution to protect your feeble hearts. You shall BOTH marry me! I've dealt with male entitlement before, but this is official next level. Yes, an interdimensional level, as our collective wedding will be as well. Yeah, not interested. You are hardly the first prince to seek my royal hand in card ship, but I don't see what you- I don't see that you're bringing much to the table. Interdimensional table? <laughs> And I'm the definition of marriage material. You'll never find a better suitor. I have a castle. I can defeat anyone and anything. I'll show you. I'll fight... Uh... Her! Um, is the interdimensional prince pointing directly at you? Why is your life like this? I can defeat you at any challenge. Name your weapon and prepare to lose. Ran and Polly are watching you closely. Maybe you can skew the prince's challenge to really impress one of them. Naked fencing with live weasels. Or, again, winning at losing. Hmm. Uh -huh. I think I, I think I might go with the naked fencing. Yes. Naked yes. fencing. Very well. If that is what you wish, then so be it. Both of you and both <coughs> you and the prince quickly undress, thus giving your respective weasels ample fleshy targets. Oof. You both grab the nearest live weasels and take traditional weasel fighting stance. I wonder what that looks like. On the count of 100. One, two, just go! Normally, the International Prince's years and years of royal swordplay training would have, had you, would have you defeated in seconds. But fighting with Mistolids is, is a weasel of a different color. You defeated opponents with polecats, ferrets, and minks, and the prince is, no, pr prince is no exception. You leave him staggering and bleeding from many teeny tiny bite marks across his naked body. Ow. He then put his clothes back on in a defeated demeanor, basically because we have no model of him naked. <laughs> CURSE YOU CAT SNAKE! YOUR LONG FURRY BODY AND SHARP LITTLE TEETH ARE ADORABLE AND PAINFUL! <laughs> yes, Wild, I love weasel fencing, you're pretty cool, Liz. Yeah, I made the thing. Eh. The prince disappears, leaving you and your weasel to hit on your fellow high, schools, high schoolers in peace. You gain two charm and one fun. Yay. Why didn't this become a link? <laughs> a lock. I don't know. It was on my screen. Okay. <laughs> First I follow. Then I send you a coffee. <laughs> Single dollar. The dollar that will rule all dollars. One dollar. <laughs> One dollar. It actually has to be like three dollars. One dollar. <laughs> but <laughs> you'll also receive like only like two something because it takes money. I'm adding this game with the laundry list of fetishes to my wish list. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It'll be funny. Ah. Logging into PayPal. <laughs> Live on stream. Yeah. <laughs> And here's, here's the like, my social security card and my, cre my credit card numbers and the three numbers on the back. And here's my address. John Wick <laughs> needs your help. <laughs> to win Fortnite. There we go. What's your crazy Mario name? First name, the, the credit card number. Your mom's credit card number. Oh, <laughs> Last cool. name, the three numbers on the back. Can I use, can I use multiple payment methods at once here? 
There we go. Where can I not? <clears throat> You can, cannot. I don't know can, if I can. can. Oof. I'm gonna try. Oh, so that's the game that you were talking about. I've seen that when looking at anime games before. I'm glad. Friggin', I didn't want- I was scared to click it. Actually, I- actually, I think I did click it, but then I got bored of reading. You find Liam artfully arranging his food while Miranda di diligently sorts her silverware. Neither of them is eating, obviously. Have you found it yet? Oops, sorry, I read your line. It's okay. I'm, I'm trying, Liam, but finding the perfect silverware for your cafeteria food pick is an art, not a science. How hard can it be? <clears throat> it's just silverware. Just silverware? And I suppose the food in your food pick is just food? No, it's a metaphor for urban con for urban consumption in a post 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 modern industrialized mega society. Well, my silverware is a metaphor for silverware. Yes. <laughs> is that not enough? It's more than enough. But can we hurry it along? The lighting is perfect right now, and I don't want to lose it. You're a bit of a silverware aficionado yourself. Maybe you can speed up the selection process while simultaneously demonstrating your knowledge. Try the picture fork. It's a fork for taking taking pictures of. I think your face elegance and tastes like a gloating spoon. Oof. Well, I want Liam. The picture fork? Miranda, why didn't you suggest <laughs> the picture fork? I don't know, it seemed too on the nose, and fork does not belong on one's nose. But look at this fork. It's so vintage. Slightly tarnished silver. A pineapple filial. Yes, it was manufactured thusly by the palace quaintsmiths. Don't tell me that. It makes it less authentic. Just place it in the correct location for my food pick. Install your new game. Very well, the correct location is across the plate. As if left haphazardly while enjoying a delicious meal. So nonchalant, I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Liam's so impressed with your selection, he spends hours with you after lunch picking out filters. You miss class, but it's worth it. Worth it. This is gonna be great. You approach Scott and Polly's table to find them crouched behind a pile of jelly desserts, plotting. Thanks, Brosif. You're here, bro. Come on, join our huddle. Maybe you're curious about our huge pile of jelly jam gelatinous dessert cups. Well, wonder no I, more. We're going for the jelly fries. I am curious. I want all of them. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna win it. If we collect the foil cover of 100 jelly desserts, we'll be the lucky winners of... Yeah. One free jelly dessert! Ah! <laughs> How big are the jelly desserts? <laughs> Right but now, right now we're, we're stuck. stuck. We've Sorry. only got 99. That means we need... We need... One more, Scott. We need one more. We need one more! You give them your jelly dessert, but you already threw it at a bird person you hate. Guess you gotta make a choice. Steal the final jelly dessert from the Jelly Dessert Factory. Make like a puppy dog and beg. All things are sweeter when achieved through pity. I mean, that's very true. But stealing. Stealing. But isn't stealing wrong? <laughs> okay. No, Scott, that's a myth. Like hangovers and the afterlife. <laughs> but if the afterlife isn't real, why are you a ghost? There's no time for met metaphysics, Scott. We've got a heist to plan. No! Coach says stealing is wrong! Unless you're stealing a ball or a base or victory from the jaws of defeat! Actually, it seems like sports is mostly about stealing. <laughs> well, that settles it. Time for stealing. One fake bus, one real, really, real woolly mammoth, and a brutal run, running gun battle. You finally secure one illicit jelly cup. Which you turn in along with your 99 other jelly cups for one free jelly cup. God is too upset by all the violence, so you split your free jelly cup with Polly. Worth it. <laughs> mm. 
Stop being the protagonist. Alright. Let's see. No creativity for you. Yeah. But you need it. Look at your creativity. Pitiful. <laughs> That day you're the first in class, and you sometimes come early because you enjoy talking to the teacher. He's a bit better, better. He's a bit bitter, but in a cool way, he treats you like a bit bitty. adult. The two of you discuss life and stuff in a very snarky way. A very, a very snarky, snarky way. way. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, excelling at cliched movie tropes. Bootleg Blobbert. Bootleg Blobbert. You gain two smarts and one valuable life insight that will help you face the difficulties of being young. After that, you engage in a deadly match of truth or dare, or death, with Polly, and that would be a super interesting event to cover. But then the two of you spot Marina and Liam deep in an intense conversation that's bound to be much more interesting. Hey, you babes, you are making quite a noise, and I love everything that makes quite a noise. What's up? Hey, you two. Miranda and I were having a creative disagreement, you see. We wanted to start our own school club. You know, an intellectually rewarding curricula that enriches our minds will probably not be mentioned ever again in the future because cont continuity at the school seems to be a bit random. <laughs> nice! Let's do it! Y'all know my fave things in the world. Drugs? Mm -hmm. Sexual activities? Noise? No, dummies. That too, but I meant chess and Russian literature. Stop treating me as if I were two-dimensional. Let's start a literature club. Huh. I'm not <laughs> sure. Do you remember what happened last year when we joined the literature club? Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh. We wrote dope poems and made new friends? No. The <clears throat> other thing. Huh? Huff, yes, that's right. So weird, I almost forgot. I mean, that's how I died, you know? Oof. Polly is Sayori confirmed. <laughs> anyway, thing is, Miranda and I were already between two ideas. I proposed we start the club club. The club club? A delightful meta club where we enjoyed ourselves by designing and crafting new school clubs. Boring! I proposed a Little Pony Sweet Dreams Club, a club where we would spend our nights learning how to tell the right bedtime stories to ponies. Well, you two really know how to sound two-dimensional, but in any case, can't you both just do your own clubs? No! Our lives are fueled by the conflict and confrontation that can only be solved by choosing between two options. <laughs> ah, phone! Phone! <laughs> Rip cake. Juice, are you still there? No, okay. <laughs> oh, you're there, you're just muted as well. Return from phone call. Ah, oh, that was a quick phone call. Oh my goodness. I was trying to see why the chat wasn't showing up. Blah, 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 on stream. It's just because of. I am new to Streamlabs. <laughs> I trusted you, <laughs> Narkin. <laughs> Oh well. <clears throat> That's why we needed you to choose which club is the best one, because Wiz always seems to choose based on a based on who he wants to ask to prom. <laughs> so which one should we go for? Just remember one of the ideas includes ponies. Hmm, a tough choice, mostly because I'm like super drunk right now. A tough choice indeed. It's your opportunity to convince Polly of one of the options because no one is preventing you from making choices based on who you want to ask to prom. 
I mean, the pony one is at night, so it technically oh. counts as a nightclub. The best club is clearly the club club because, and then just throw some confetti. And so you throw lots of colorful confetti that you carry with you and you want to cheer people up. Alongside your black and white sad confetti for more solemn situations. Ooh. Confetti! I love confetti! I also value confetti as a very valid argument, so club club it is. I must admit convit- Advit. I must admit confetti is pretty nice. Maybe Liam was right the whole time and I wasn't able to see it because of the lack of confetti in his arguments. Really? That was what you needed to be convinced? I'm this close to arguing with you about changing your mind. <laughs> but you know what? What if we start designing and crafting our club club now? It'll be the first of many clubs we create. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> your silliness and cheerfulness is stupid, but nice. Oh. You know what? As the club club president, I think the second club we can craft and design might be a little pony sweet dreams club. Aww. God bless dorky Sundari, Liam. Aw, Liam, there's a little fluffy purple heart deep down under that hater facade, isn't there? Shut up. Aw, everyone is happy now. I'll see you might be into conquering that little fluffy purple heart eventually. For now, you gain plus two creativity and one fun. Oh whoop whoop! Hey. I got some creativity I out need. of that. Outdoors. Day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension, the consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself. But who cares? It's a rad party! You get too fun. I left because I had to do my laundry. Harkin's <laughs> like, I trusted you! You're fucking around on your cell phone when you see a couple of your classmates fucking around on their cell phones too, but louder and with more aggravation. Paulina, this is an institution of learning, and I'm finding it increasingly difficult to concentrate with you making tigers <laughs> appear everywhere constantly. <laughs> it's connecting to your choice earlier. You'll <laughs> soon overrun the school. I find it simply aberrant that the amount of money you are funneling into Tiger when an app advertises itself as free but then gets you addicted and causes you to end up paying more and more money. Minus 99 monies at a time. That's just... Awesome. I'm sorry I left you, Narkin. <laughs> Exploitative of the weak-willed. And I love exploiting the weak-willed, but I prefer when you do it with me. What's so special about Tiger anyways that you're blowing all your money on it rather than investing in our schemes? Um, where to begin? The premium features are dope. You can design the stripes on your tiger, <laughs> pick custom colors, pick whisker size and string. I'm imagining Polly summoning like hot pink tigers <laughs> everywhere. You can find out whether or not a tiger has super liked your profile and what pictures it's favorited. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's not that I necessarily want to date a literal ti actual tiger, or I just want to know if the literature Literature, literature literal tigers? actual tigers want to date me as they should. Doki Doki Literature Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> you must realize how insane that sounds. I mean, hearing it out loud, it did sound pretty whack, I guess. Plus, if the tiger gets hungry and starts eating people, and honestly, it's shocking they haven't done that already, we won't have anyone to rip off. Right, because the tigers will be ripping off their, their arms and legs. Good point. I'll just delete the app and get rid of the tigers. I like- I like how disgusted Liam looks! <laughs> He's so disgusted. Liam's like, what the heck has he been happening? There! Deleted! And yet there! Tigers! Here! Tigers! Everywhere! Tigers! Tigers! Huh, I wonder what why is... that didn't work. Maybe because getting rid of downloadable content on a phone in no way destroys living flesh and blood beings in the real world. But you know what might actually work? For every tiger in the school, release three anteaters, the natural enemy of tigers, as everyone knows. Have Coach talk to them. He's a tiger, right? Or like, a tiger-adjacent something? Ooh, I really want to see how that works out. Oh no. <laughs> I- I don't- I- I don't- I don't I know don't what the know. stats are! 
You know, just, to, just to see how it ends out, I'm gonna choose the bottom one. Yes! Oh, it's the right thing! Yes! Excellent idea. Although there are many areas in which I would not trust the opinion of a mere athlete, communication with their own is one to which even I must happily defer. <laughs> Narkin's like... Never leave me, Juice. I, I love like you. Like the ready to launch, the ready to launch time just keeps going up. <laughs> Oof. It Oof. started at one minute and now it's at uh, an hour. Oop. One hour twelve. One hour twenty-one. One hour thirty. One hour forty-one. One hour forty-five. Two hour five. What the? F your your what internet. Is I think Steam died for a second for you, and by for a second I mean forever. Two, three hours. Three I like reloaded. Hours, it was like, Juice. is it working? Four again? hours three. Four hours thirty. It just keeps going. Juice, I've had that happen to me before, and it actually said it's gonna take over a year. I had to restart Steam. I actually over have a screenshot a year? of it from a long time. I actually have a screenshot of it from a long time ago that I could send at some point. That would be going great. To restart Steam. Do that. Sarah, why? Sarah, why? Huh? Line. I don't know. Oh. I was like, what? Huh? what? I thought you were saying I lied. No, <laughs> I was, lied. I was like, what? <laughs> spent your money on hentai. No! Excuse- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, well I clicked it again. Oh. <laughs> you rang my wonderful, eager-eyed educatees. Educa- Um, yeah, someone we have no idea who just- someone made a whole ton. Language, Paulina. Sorry, Coach. She means there's an abundance of tigers roaming around the school. Couple of tigers here? <laughs> Why? How did you know that I was looking to recruit for my new all tiger synchronized skating team? <laughs> Co Coach. Why? We didn't. Well, I'll I'll be back. Okay, Juice. Okay. You're leaving Narkin again. How dare. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Expect you to be so grateful. We All we really wanted was the satisfaction of a job well done and also 10% revenue on all memorabilia merchandising once the season kicks off. <clears throat> that sounds more than fair. Let's go tell these tigers all about the joys of synchronized skating. You follow Coach around the school as he approaches each and every tiger to recruit them one by one. Some people say that forming a synchronized skating team with literal actual tigers is more work than it's worth because you're automatically doubling the amount of limbs that need to be in sync. But I say those people are weak and have never tried teaching tigers how to synchronize skate. Neither have I, but I think I'm more than up for the challenge. Plus, think of all the joys that come with ice skating. Bunions, freezing toes, split toenails, hip and knee problems. All of those can be yours for free! <laughs> for free? You want it? It's yours. As long as you have enough rubies. <laughs> well, not for free, because you have to buy equipment and pay to spend time on the ice and all that. But you can win trophies! Whoa, did all the tigers just sign up? Well, Paul's surprised face. <laughs> I had no idea that tigers cared so deeply for trophies. Then you must not pay much attention to Coach. Obviously. <clears throat> they also care a lot about things that are great. <laughs> Good thing Liz does, or at least enough to know that Coach is a tiger. Yeah! Well, come to think of it, it's not really that much, but it got the job done and now everyone's happy. You gain two fun and one boldness. Yay. Something da -da -da. happens to me. Okay. Please be Liam. That weekend, Liam contacted Yay. you for advice. Well, there's your answer. No, no, no. You misunderstand. I don't want your advice. I want to hear your you express an opinion, just to um, see if you're capable of forming one. Specifically, I'd like to hear your opinion on Wiz's cultural literacy. Is he cultured like an artisanal cheese, or uncultured like milk? Wiz is so cultured he can tell the difference between theater and theater. Wiz is so uncultured he thinks a sonnet is a female son. <laughs> You're you are very cultured. Yeah. He can <clears throat> I mean, so can I. I definitely heard the difference between those two words you just said. If you'll excuse me, I have to go find Wiz now. For romantic reasons. Not to ask him to explain what you said. Why would I think that? 
Liam hurries off of his artistic mission. Silly Liam, the difference is that a theater is done by actors, whereas a theater is done by actors. You gain three creativity. <laughs> Trade places. Protagonist. <laughs> Lunch time. Please say the wolf pack are there. All right. I need to, I need the wolf pack to be there at lunch. Please. I need this. I want creativity. Oh, you... Well, at least you can go get your get your creative. That day, while rehearsing for the class plays, and so the muses themselves have decided to give you a figurative blowjob. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain two creativity. Liam stalked past you backstage, pretending to talk to himself, but clearly speaking for your benefit. Oh, the tangled tribulations of the committed iconoclast. Talent show is a fascist monument to misguided ego and public spectacle. The dignified thing would be to sit out the event in protest. But that's what everyone expects me to do. Therefore, I must participate. <laughs> the question is, how? How do I foreground my native artistic talent while simultaneously making play in my utter contempt for the event? William pauses his monologue to give you an opportunity to interject. Any ideas? 13 minutes of judgmental staring. A live mashup of Starvinsky's Rite of Spring and the theme song from the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Shoot, what do you even think these are? Uh... Like, unless good. one of these is boldness, I guess I wouldn't fail. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I, I remembered having this happen when I went for Liam, but I forget what the thing is. Ninja are. Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Yay! Oh, what a terrible idea. I love it. I mean, it's okay. Love is a plebeian emotion. Plebs. Fucking <laughs> noob. Plebs. <laughs> Just like hate and fear and liking things. I only feel German emotions. I don't want to try to, to pronounce those. Scheudenfrude, Waltschmerz, Lebensmude. Okay, thanks. <laughs> oh, look, Juice. <laughs> Juice is now playing Monster Prom. <laughs> thanks, Juice. Anyways, I have to go download the Ninja Turtles theme song now. Obviously, I already have Stravinsky. And, uh, thanks, I guess. No, you blush. Oh. <laughs> yes, guess that's about as good as you're gonna get from Liam. You need two charm, one creativity. Let's go. Hmm. What do I need? I'm gonna go back into the bathrooms. That day you skip class, intending to spend the term in the bathrooms, but you encounter three wild hyenas on the way there. Who the fuck runs security here? Anyway, you subdue them with the help of a hair comb. <laughs> with a hair comb. God bless the monster scouts and all the idiotic scenarios they prepared you for. By the time you get to the bathrooms, you've totally gained two boldness. Hey Liz, darling. It's me, lovely fan favorite Polly. Indeed. As Narkin is here like... <laughs> you know I wasn't always a ghost. Yeah, yeah, this is about to get real, hear me out. Wait, is this for the, for the reverse Romanian Wilkinson ending? Oh no. I used to be I alive, but I died ending. with unfinished business. Oh no, Keiko! You don't I have enough it. money for this! I don't! This is bad! I need money! <laughs> now I gotta live forever like this until I finish it. And you might ask, what's your unfinished business, fan favorite lovely Polly? I guess I can tell you. I never did a reverse Romanian Wilkinson. I need money! <laughs> ah! I, I just imagine, like, she's, she's like, talking all deep with me about this, and I'm just yelling at her, like, shaking her, I NEED MONEY! <laughs> you know, sexually. <laughs> Sigh. Don't get me wrong, I love being immortal and walking through walls and shit. But my soul will never truly rest until I do that freaky sex move. Oh well. I've done that one loads of times! Just name a time and place and I'll reverse all over your Romanian Wilkinson! 
Throw a smoke bomb and escape while leaving a replica of yourself. That should buy you time to figure out what a reverse Romanian Wilkinson is. I think the first I... one would be charm, wouldn't it? Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure the last one's creativity, and I have have no creativity, so... Yeah. Ha! Yay! Yes! Finally, someone as well-versed in freaky sex as I am. At last, I can be free of my eternal ghostly prison or whatever. You are here. I'm, I'm here. But mostly freaky sex. <laughs> All right, it's on prom night, okay? You bring the supplies, I'll bring my sex expertise. And hey, purge the zucchini, Admiral. You know what I'm talking about. See you soon. You totally phased out. <laughs> oh boy, you might have just gotten yourself tickets to the wildest night of your life. What the fuck is a reverse Romanian Wilkinson? And what are the supplies? For now, you at least gain three fun. Oof. I need money. Money. <laughs> Now when it's lunch, you really hey, need to me. choose whoever's gonna give you stats. What? See if there's a the money off. <laughs> gotta be the wolf pack. Oh, the coven! That's even better chances. It's not the wolf pack, okay. Maybe that's you'll get good. a sack of quarters. <laughs> you enjoy your, your meal in peace when you hear the unmistakable sound of three throats clearing. <clears throat> <clears throat> yes, hello. As you know, it's customary for a benevolent witch coven to have as an ally a malevolent. A malvolent creature of some sort. And since Liam has apparently decided he's too cool for us now. Liam is like scoffing in the background. He's like, Ugh. And I mean, because of your incredible resume and good looks. Why, thank you. We've decided to accept you on a trial basis and our supernatural companion for one adventure. Adventure not to exceed three episodes or eclipse the main plot arc. As a consideration for your willing participation, we'll even allow you a choice of adventures. Three episodes? You can knock out one of these adventures by the end of lunch. And it actually sounds fun! The Coven gives you two options. About the crime ghost, that's been using children's bodies and taking them Ooh, to rob banks. Bottom. Which I've never seen before planned. Take on the greatest villain of all. Income equal inequality. So, bottom one? Yeah, it's bottom money. One. Money. Turns out, income inequality is the name of a giant goblin made of money that's been terrorizing the city. You attack it in the only way you know how. Stealing. <clears throat> It's working! All that money you stole is load-bearing! The goblin is going to collapse! Yep, that was totally your plan. You definitely weren't just stealing the money because you wanted money. I WANT MONEY! <laughs> Excellent, the day is saved once again, thanks to the coven and our faithful sidekick, Liz. I'm just there, like, gr greedily, like, hugging all the money. Turns out the best way to defeat income equality is by robbing the from the rich and giving to... YOURSELF! You gave four money! How much money do I need for this? I... I'm trying to remember if it's ten or twelve. Let me look it up really quick. Okay, thanks. So why did I why did I buy this game? <laughs> We're too far in this match now. We can't stop. We'll have to do another one. <laughs> we should we could do like a sh a short round after so that it's not too long. Yeah. Uh. You did, you did give me three dollars so I could get this game today. Yes. Yeah. I just need to look up how much the penguin mask costs really quick. I don't think I was just like. Mask. There's hentai gallery in here. <laughs> Juice? <laughs> colon eyes, colon. Well, that's what I think when I see a gallery option in a game. Just, your mind instantly goes to hentai. Yeah. Why else would you want a gallery? Hmm. This telling me about this freaking. I think it's $10. Here, wait, I have an idea. There's the freaking thing. You guys are only on week two. Yeah, but it's a long game, so it took us forever to get here. Yeah, and also you're weeks? distracting us with anti. How many weeks are there? Yes, it is ten dollars for the okay. penguin mask. So I just need to go to the library once. <laughs> how many how many weeks are in this game? Uh, in the long game? Uh, I forget. An amount. There, just pick a thing. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure that we get you that reverse Romanian Wilkinson. <laughs> I need this reverse Romanian Wilkinson. <laughs> I need to reverse all over her Romanian Wilkinson. Excuse me? <laughs> Upon buying the mask, your smart set will plummet drastically, making any subsequent choice based on intelligence a surefire failure. Well, that's okay. good to know. That's fine. So you need, after that, after the mask, you need the coven scene for the marbles. 
and then you have to blackmail Liam. Uh, okay, got it. Okay. Hi, Liam. You find Folly and Liam not eating as usual, you know, because they're undead. You know, the food in this cafeteria <laughs> really is atrocious. It's hardly even worthy of my Instagram. But you were taking a photo, like, just last week. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't even need the food. See? This is exactly what I mean. We can do so much better than these subpar culinary abortions. Abortions! Oh, I see what you mean. You mean the two of us should have a cook-off? Ah. What? No. Did you say something? I'm not listening because I'm so psyched about this cook-off. God damn it, Polly. At no point did I agree to... I've got a huge advantage, though, because I've cooked so many drugs. That's not how it works. Oh, you think you've got the advantage, huh? I've been alive for centuries of culinary history. It's on! <laughs> the two of them dash into the kitchen, ignoring all rules of law, school, and common decency as they commence cooking. Two celebratory chief judges appear to critique the challengers. I think they're both equally horrible, says the cruel British judge. I think they're both equally marvelous, says the overly nice British judge. Both judges turn to you. What do you think, tiebreaker judge, whose meal truly is the cat's pajamas? Liam's well, because I think that glass jar of fresh human blood really goes with the parsley he sprinkled on top. Polly's because she literally just made a pair of pajamas <laughs> for a cat. Uh, Polly. Ha! In your play, in your face, Wolfgang suck. <laughs> that would be a better name for Scott. I'm not even a wolf. As a matter of Jeez, fact, that would be a better name for you. Oh, what? Because I'm a vampire? Whoa, that would totally make sense. No, I just meant because you suck. Oof. Well, this sucker just wowed the judges with my blood tartar. It's raw, organic, free-range blood, unethically sourced from a local terrified human. <laughs> and that parsley, farm to table. Or rather, farm to blood. I threw it in blood. I like the color. Actually, it's well known that nobody knows what parsley tastes like. I love parsley, though. Parsley and basil. And you probably never will, because you're certainly not drinking any of that concoction. You tell Liam his prize for winning the cook-off is eating a lunch alone with you. Slurp, slurp. Ooh. Hey. Look, it's me. Please say I can go to the library. You're like, to the library! We're like please, halfway through please this don't, game. Please don't there's be at the library. There's three weeks, but there's a bunch okay, of, safe. like, safe. intervals. That day you spend time in the <laughs> library's PC sending malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. Doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they, res if they respond to such a blatant scam? You lose 10 karma, which is no stat in this game, so who cares, and gain two money! I can buy a penguin mask! Penguin mask! Polly seems really excited about trying a reverse Romanian Wilkinson with you, and the only thing you have to do is get all the needed supplies, which would be fine, except you have no idea what any of them are! Luckily, you've got a few spare minutes to try and figure this out. You do a quick search on your phone because you assume the internet must know something about this as long as it's related to very weird sex fetishes. <clears throat> hmm. Nothing. <clears throat> While trying other keywords, you spot the coven looking over at your phone. Hey, marbles. Marbles. Always the same with you. What? Could it possibly be they know something about the reverse Romanian Wilkinson? No, they're always bitching about saving the world. There's so much about saving the world. They would never admit they're into these kinds of very weird sex fetishes. Maybe you're not searching hard enough on the net. Or maybe you're letting your prejudices blind you. There's not much more time to lose here. The solution is clear. You're tackling online searching in a very short-sighted way. You need to come up with an unexpected search terms that will point you in the right direction. Use your people skills to get the three witches to admit they know what a reverse Romanian Wilkinson is and to tell you what you, what you need for it. The last uh, one! Last one. Use your refined persuasion skills with the coven, which include techniques such as repeating Tell me what a reverse Romanian Wilkinson is! To the point of exhaustion. Uh, okay, okay, we might know what a reverse Romanian Wilkinson is. But we know because of saving the world. Sure. So you'll need a penguin mask, a bag of marbles, and a kilo of guacamole. That's a lot of guacamole. We're sure Valerie was selling a penguin mask the other day. Don't think we have a kilo of guac for you. What kind of purse do you think we are? Hmm. We totally have a bag of marbles, though. How the hell do you have a bag of marbles? How about you keep the marbles and we never mention this again? 
Okay, bye. Nicely done! In the end, it turned out to be exactly like that old toy commercial jingle. Marbles, marbles, you never had enough. They're perfect for booby tracks and super weird sex stuff. Oof. Huh. These marbles really sm These marbles spell funny, though. Maybe they're already used? Ew. First, you feel like that's not okay, but then again, you're about to get into some really kinky stuff. So, who are you to judge? Your mind is open and your excitement grows. You gain two creativity and one fun. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. It's a class! That day you learn a ton of spells that are as cool as they are seemingly useless. A spell to renew sticker stickiness. A spell to turn chocolate and vanilla ice cream into vanilla and chocolate ice cream. A spell to gain two plus two smarts! You actually use that last spell and you gain two smarts. Huh. But Liam isn't paying attention to any of that. He corners you afterwards to lecture you on Instagram. Is he gonna kabe don me? What no one seems to understand about filters is that they're not about making pictures better. They're about making pictures browner and harder to see. <laughs> Very true. So I use my own prop proprietary filter for almost all my photos. Infinite Taup. It's also probably why I only have six Instagram followers. But we must make all sacrifices for our art. All make sacrifices for art. In any case, I have to go. There's a dead rat in the parking lot I simply must document. <laughs> As soon as Liam's gone, Miranda peeks out of an air conditioning duct. Goodness, the situation is even more dire than I thought. Where did if Operation you... Make Liam Popular get us to succeed, we must get started immediately. What's that? Why, yes, of course you're part of my operation. I unwillingly force people into my service all the time. Oh, you want to know why it's called Operation Make Liam Popular again? Well, he's been alive for, like, centuries, right? I'm sure he must have been popular at some point. I'll check the history books later. There's no time now. Phase 1 is getting Liam more Instagram followers. I took Love the liberty of having my royal spies well. discover the password to his account so we can give a total makeover. But what to do? Use his account to post a bunch of porn and palm recipes. Pay a million oh. homeless people to follow Liam on Instagram. I don't have the money for that. Okay, yeah, the top one. <clears throat> what is porn? Never mind, if you suggested it must be something very classy and suitable. <laughs> I shall put you in charge of curation. Porn away, comrade. <laughs> Porn I need that away. screenshot. <laughs> That's a great quote. Yes. Porn away, comrade. You turn Liam's account into Instagram's number one resource for weird dicks and domestic terrorism. Shockingly, this turns out fine. There you are. There you are. I wanted to share this great news. I'm Instagram famous. <laughs> Apparently, my filter game was so edgy that the backwards administration decided to close my account. Oh. But not before I amassed over 3 million followers! They're all following me to my new website. HotLiamPix with 3 X's, dot com. <laughs> of course, I'm utterly devastated that my work has finally become mainstream. Yes, this is the worst, and I am not all, all happy or excited about it. Anyways, I have to go take pictures of my lunch. My fans are waiting. <laughs> You're not sure why they're waiting for what Liam thinks they're waiting for. You're not sure they're waiting for what Liam thinks they're waiting for, but whatever works, right? You gain two creativity and one charm. Pour it away, comrade. Pour it away, comrade. <laughs> All right. You were having a quiet evening with the... Uh, a coconut and totally not human flush flavored smoothie when Polly faces in. Sup, Wiz? You planning on coming to my death day party? It's going to be lit. We're going to have all kinds of reminders of the way I died. Guillotines, quicksand, alligators, and all the food will be poisoned, of course. And books, right? Because the literature club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? How exactly did this girl die again? You know, I've been thinking about it, and I'm really into the idea of sharing my afterlife with a fellow ghost, you know? Think of all the cute ghost dates we can go on, going to haunted houses on Halloween and actually haunting them. Walking through walls to get where we want to go, appearing in turns to reveal perspective and truth to greedy old misers who don't appreciate the holidays. You know, all that classic ghost stuff. But I also kind of wouldn't hate dating Liz, so I guess my question to you is, when do you think her death day party will be? Like, will she become a ghost soon-ish, at least? I'm not super patient, but I do think she parties down and could party even further down as a ghost. Liz, the reckless bastard, eats glutton. G 
glutton. Glutton. Glutton, I tell you. She'll be dead by noon, probably. Oh. Liz is gonna be around a long time. Trust me, she already has a place reserved in a retirement community and has taken up bingo and become an expert knitter. Game over, I mean, game not over. Not for a long time. She's gonna die an old, old monster. In an retirement community. <laughs> an retire- okay. Okay. Gluten! Ha! I knew Liz lived life on the wild side. Which will hopefully take her right into an early grave. Hopefully. Ideally, the grave right next to mine, and we can party for all eternity and make random yee noises or sound recordings. Yee. Like this. Yee. <laughs> Very e. If you decide to die anytime soon, you're welcome to come to our ghost raves. They're going to be ghastly. Hey. Well, you're not really sure how Liz is going to feel, but or how excited you all are by her impending death, but hopefully she'll be psyched that it's a death approved and eagerly awaited by Polly. Yay, death! Oh man, how awkward is it going to be if Liz is actually in love with Scott now you're all psyched about her dying for nothing like a sociopath? Oof. You gained three fun for sending Liz to an early awesome grave. Thank you. Death, death is good. Occasionally. Okay, now I need to run to the store. Yes. Or should I do that? I should do that at lunch, actually, probably. I don't think she she's always there at lunch, is she? I'm pretty sure she is. I'm not gonna risk it. Yeah. Cause it'd be it'd be awkward if like uh Well I mean I'm pretty sure she is. I think it you could sense. unless it was between like smarts and creativity, I don't think you would fail something. Cause if cause once you buy the thing you'll like drop smarts and Indeed. then the last one might need like a lot of a stat mm. so I don't know I really don't know if she'll be at lunch though I'll Especially just buy it now and going then... into like the last week but I don't know I could be a ding dong uh I'll quickly go get some more charm no, that's where she is. Ah. Oh, shoot. I wanted more charm. Oh, well. Ah. Uh... Money! <laughs> Money! Money I don't need at all. Or you can go to the toilets. Toilets are good. For toileting. You gotta go comb <laughs> your hair. The day you visit the bathroom, so take a number two. Don't worry, there won't be an illustration to that specific moment. Thank thing you. is, you make one of the boldest decisions in your life. You don't put paper on the toilet seat before using it. <gasps> Look at you, you crazy bastard. You gain two boldness and probably one Stephalocus. With a slight chance of one STD. Fun. <clears throat> Afterwards, Miranda beckons you from a darkened corner. Psst. Co-conspirator. Over here. Phase one of Operation Make Liam Popular Again was an overwhelming success. Liam is internet popular. Now we just need to make him real life popular. And what better way than by making him prom king? Unfortunately, when I asked him to run for prom queen, he said, and I quote, Never, 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 not in a thousand years, and that's not an exaggeration because I've been alive for a thousand years and I've never run for prom king, so there you go. Which was clearly his cryptic way of saying he wants us to make him prom king. My first thought was to murder the current prom king after establishing Liam as his rightful heir, but I couldn't find any bloodline charts to work from. Oops. So I suppose we must engage in this democratic election the school is holding. Now how can we secure a win for Liam, when he is opposed to running or making any effort to win? I'll dress up as Liam and give the best campaign speech anyone has ever given. Pay a million people to vote for Liam. Well, that's you the first one. You don't have the money. That's a great idea. You look just like him. You squeeze into some skinny jeans, some suspenders, a lot of purple paint, and a sense of smug superiority and gather a crowd in the auditorium. You know this would actually work because it's Oz. Yeah, it would work. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, monsters, you say. For too long, our school has been ruled by prom kings who care about things. Caring about things makes you weak, because what if you care about the wrong things? I, Liam Daylight in court, will never be wrong, because I don't care about anything. I don't care about my dumb clothes, or my stupid man bun, or any of you. To be honest, I don't even care if I win. I don't, I'll just blow up the school with the high hydrogen bomb I buried under the cafeteria. Oh. You walk off the stage to thunderous, terrified applause. You don't know whether it was a speech or the threat of extinction, but Liam wins by a landslide. 
Drats and curses. Rumor says I will be elected prom king in spite of my sincerest wishes. How horrible to have the love of the entire student body showered upon me! The cold blackness in my soul, which has so long sheltered me from my true emotions. Gah! It's thawing! <laughs> See? This is terrible, and I'm in no way enjoying it! Still, I should probably pick out a tuxedo. You know, so... Not appear gracious. You're happy to help Liam pick out a tuxedo. You even measure his body. <laughs> la la. You gain two fun and one creativity. Eh. Hey. Mm. But I'm pretty sure it's guaranteed that she appears in the friggin' lunch. Last lunch. Because mm. the only time she doesn't appear is the first day and the last day. Hmm. <laughs> what do I do? I don't know. Uh... <laughs> it would be super sucky, but I don't. I really am not sure. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna buy it now. Ah, you missed me and my shit, huh? Don't worry no more. All the shit can be yours if you have the money. Not me though. Anguin ass. Oh, I shoot. have 20 fun. Ah, nothing better than the smell of money. Well, actually, there are many better spells, but you know what I mean, right? Max fun. Who cares about being smart? You also need fun. to quickly bribe Liam when he freaking shows up. Where's... I dropped a thing, and I don't know where it went. Dropped a thing. Pay F for respects. Rest in peace thing. I actually liked fiddling with that thing. I don't. I right. actually don't know where it went. I'll go look further. <clears throat> Okay, you're going first. You approach Liam at Vera's table to find them thoughtfully tasting several glasses of wine. The school has literally no rules, apparently. <laughs> ah, wine. That most exclusive of beverages. Even a vampire such as myself cannot resist its class and allure. Do you know a lot about wine, then? I'm having dinner with the King of France next week, and I could use some pointers. France doesn't have a king anymore. That's what the media wants you to think, so do you know about wine or not? Alas, in my centuries of living, I've only learned how to look good holding wine, not to ha not how to evaluate it. All I know is that I'm not drinking another glass of that one. Fair points at the bottle with Polly's toilet wine written on it. Oh. A marker. What I wouldn't give for an experienced sablah, sommelier, you know, something like that, to help us judge which wine is best. The guy's almost done yet. Yes. It's getting there. We are very close to that. Okay. And I got I dated Liam at the prom and did the thing. Hey! That was fast. Liam when I first the best at impersonating a plate of spaghetti, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> when I first played, I got rejected by Miranda like ten times. <laughs> I wasn't even going for Liam, I was going for Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> but then Liam but then we were helping Liam get all popular. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then I was like, you know That's what? That's what I'm doing I'm, right I'm now. I like him. I like him. Yeah, so I overheard and I was like, that's weird. <laughs> it's weird how that worked out. <laughs> it was very weird. You know nothing about wine, but you're pretty sure most sommeliers just make stuff up anyway. You suavely recommend. Try the sangria. It pairs well with, it pairs well with seafood and blood. The tannins in this robust Malbec are an elegant way to mask the taste of poison, perfect for diplomatic missions. You know, the pronounced sweetness and citrus flavors would go well with an unholy blood meal. I've always tried to pair p that, that P Pinot Noir with blood. You know, because noir means dark, like my soul. <laughs> Same. I always avoided sangria because of the little bits of fruit in it made it seem inauthentic. But I suppose the clue is in the title, isn't it? This is tr this truly is a new dawn for sanguine cuisine. Well, not dawn per se, but let's say a new dusk. Yes, a new dusk for sanguine cuisine. <laughs> As someone who does not literally drink blood, I'm afraid I can't share your enthusiasm. But I do like to imagine vampires getting chunks of fruit stuck between their fangs. Liam ignores her. He's too busy gazing at you over the rim of his bus. He's a little drunk, but you don't judge. Aww. Who doesn't love the fact that there are no rules in the school? <laughs> Friggin' sad. The wolf pack wasn't there at ever at all. 
Scott and Polly are sitting together, laughing their metorical, met metaphorical asses off. Metorical, yes. Do Damien, do Damien! Grr, I'm Damien, look at my stupid red face! I use violence to cover up the fact that I've been brought up to revere a toxic version of masculinity, which has alienated me from my own true emotions! Ha! <laughs> you sound exactly like him. Okay, okay, you do Vera. I'm Vera! I'm very smart, my hair is pretty, and all my friends look up to me because I'm a strong, independent woman! Scott, I'm not sure you understand how impressions work. I'm not Scott, I'm Vera! You can tell me because I said my name just now! Okay, what about you, Liz? Got any good impressions? Just one, but it's a <laughs> real doozy. Woof woof, it's me, Scott, a dog boy who is bad at impressions! Look at me, I'm Polly, look at me go! <laughs> <laughs> Friggin' no, I'm doing. I know you're doing an impression of me because you said my name, but oh my god, that sounds exactly like him. It does. Yeah, remember that time we took that impressions class together? We had to introduce ourselves. Oh yeah, I guess I did say woof woof. It's me, Scott, a dog boy who is bad at impressions. But I didn't yell like that. I'm sorry, are you the real Scott? There's two absolutely identical werewolves in front of me, and I can't tell the difference. Polly insists on a smooching contest to determine who the real Scott is. You end up winning in more ways than one. Ooh. Ooh. Hopefully there's time for you to blackmail Liam. Hopefully. There probably will be. Quickly get some charm. Oh, yeah. A day an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader. You gain two charm. Without the way, you hurry away to your secret meeting with Miranda. Well done, co conspirator. Operation Make Liam Popular again is a rousing success. And for the record, I did discover that Liam was popular for a three month period in the early 16th century, so the name fits. All that remains is for us to wait for prom and celebrate our... Your deception! <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Ten, 10 out of 10. Good job. I knew it was too good to be true. Your idiosyncrasies are remarkable, but they aren't marketable. <laughs> marketable? This is all a cruel joke, wasn't it? A bet between two popular kids that they could make an outcast loser into prom king. Leave! Well, guess what? The circus is over, and this clown is climbing into his tiny car and going home. Along with, like, 12 other tiny clowns. <laughs> if the metaphor holds. Which it doesn't. It was a bad metaphor. Goodbye! No, Liam, I wasn't trying to be mean! I don't have a mean bone on my body! I don't even have bones! You might check that affirmation later. Oh, fish sticks, so we don't do something to fix this, all our hard work and s What is that? Sutter fudge? Subterfuge. Subterfuge. Subterfuge? Let me pronounce Sutter fudge. <laughs> <laughs> Darn you, Sutter fudge. <laughs> Darn you! But how can we make amends? Surely not with the, some sort of overwrought romantic gesture defying all logic. You tell Miranda not to worry, you've seen plenty of team rom coms, you know how this part goes. You need a grand romantic gesture race to the airport to confess your feelings before Liam boards the plane. And then the other one is money. Why have I had like three money options and I'm just like, well? <laughs> Wait, how did you know Liam was about to board a plane? Are you stalking him? If you are, that's fine. Isn't that what all romantic comedies ever have taught us to do? You're right. <laughs> Anyways, you finally have into the international terminal at Spooky Airport waiting in line to board. You pass through airport security by telling them you're there for a romantic gesture. Because airport security might say no to terrorism, but they can't say no to love. Wait, that's like the situation in the movies where they stop you for a second and say, Go get him, kid. Yeah. <laughs> You're too late. I'm going to Belarus, where, no where my calculations have revealed that nobody likes me and I can go back to being unpopular. Hey, I'm popular. You grasp Liam's cold, dead hands in yours with perfect sincerity to and tell him what he means to you. Nothing. Don't you see? You say, looking deep into his eyes, you don't need to flee to Belarus to be unpopular, because you will always be unpopular in my heart, which is coincidentally about the same shape as Belarus. I 
don't know what to say. Mainly because I don't know what you're talking about, but if I don't understand it, that must mean it's art. You said art to me. Oh, how could I ever dream of leaving you behind? <laughs> Alright, if it makes you happy, I'll return to Spooky High School and don that heavy prom crowd. But only because I know that no matter how popular I get, there will always be one person who thinks I'm only so-so. <laughs> People in the airport line clap and cheer, clearly not understanding anything you two just said to each other. Liam accompanies you back to school and you gain two creativity and one smarts. Also, you should visit a hospital since your heart being the shape of Belarus can't mean anything good health-wise. I think that's the smallest I've ever seen the text. Yeah, that is pretty freaking weird. Friggin... I'm just gonna go sit in the bathroom some With more. With your negative five smarts. That day you skip class and just hang out the bathroom because you expect no authority. While in the bathroom, you tell yourself in the mirror that you're so bold you could kill a tiny big-eyed turtle with your bare hands. That monstrous act would instantly give you plus 500 boldness. But, come on, you're just talking to yourself in the mirror. Where's- what's the merit in that? You know what? You can keep two boldness anyways, just for saying to your, that to yourself out loud. Yeah. Okay, so you have the marbles, and the penguin mask. Posted a tweet a while ago, begging for a kilo of guacamole. Promised a handsome payment. And today is the day that paid off. Someone with the clearly fake account at Wilkinson Romania 69 has DM'd you. You've arranged a meeting at the outskirts of your school where all shady deals take place. Boy, is this complicated. If only you could buy guacamole at the supermarket or at the pharmacy. Elders usually tell stories of how it was done that way centuries ago. The good old times. While daydreaming, while daydreaming of days when guac was easier to get, you bump into at Wilkinson Romania 69. Who turns out to be none other than Liam! Hey. Heard you need some bespoke sex supplies. What? I've lived for many centuries. Of course I know what a reverse Romanian Wilkinson is. Not to mention where to find some good guac. I'm all in for the people ready to explore the limits of their sexualities and the potential uses of avocado. But this is going to cost you, my fellow friend. Use your sweet negotiation skills and toss all the money you can find in your pockets at him. It's blackmail, blackmail him! him. You'll take the you'll take the guac in exchange for never telling anyone he's a kinky vampire who carries guac around. Yas. Yas. Ah, the eternal struggle of artisanal sex merchant. <clears throat> our yes. natural <laughs> our natural clients are, are by their very nature also the most devious and depraved. Go on, take the unclean spoils of your cruel blackmail. I will yield in order to protect my spotless reputation. Oh, alas. Get the feeling he's enjoying this. Maybe getting blackmailed is his fetish. Who cares? The important thing is you've obtained the guac, while also getting two boldness and one charm. Yay. Yay! Okay, now to go run- now to go, like, run to Polly at top speeds. <laughs> you know, like, carrying the, like- you No, know, you're wearing the penguin mask, and, like, you've got the bag of marbles, so you're just spinning around in the air, and then you're, <laughs> like, you're, like, covering yourself in guac as you're running to Polly. <laughs> you're just like, Polly- <gasps> I got the scarf! <laughs> Yay. Click the button. It's Polly time. Who could have foreseen this? Liam and Wiz, it's prom royalty. We did, it was all our plan. We fought for love and love won. Liam was popular again. Huzzah! For once, someone else appeared in an ending. Anyway. Yeah. After all these years spent avoiding cliches, this doesn't feel as bad as I imagined. So Maybe doing a 180 degree turn from cliches is good, but <clears throat> embracing cliches is like make a 360 degree turn from them. <clears throat> so disruptive. At that moment, Miranda becomes distracted by some other wacky plan and leaves you with Liam mumbling to himself. Such a lovable door. Prom night arrives and the two of you decide to embrace all cliches from slow dancing to actually having fun. After the coronation, Liam admits he's having a great time, which is causing him to reflect on all cliches he avoided all these years, which he can now embrace. His, he looks so great! Are, his glasses are crying. Oh! His, his glasses are melting off of his face. We should. <laughs> I like Miranda in the background, just, yeah! <laughs> That's great. Then he puts his hands over yours and says, And you know what the biggest cliche I've been avoiding is? Love, and I don't even care how cheesy that sounded. Boy, that was cheesy, but you know what? You don't care either. I like cheese. Mmm, cheese. 
Penguin mask? Oh wait, that's yours. <laughs> Penguin mask, guacamole, yeah. bag of marbles, it's all here. You're the real deal, huh? So, it's a date, and what a date it shall be, right? Ooh. So happy to finish that unfinished business. Prom night comes, and you're as ready as you can be for the reverse Romanian Wilkinson. You still have no clue about how it works, but you'll trust in the odds by improvising and giving Polly the lead. In the end, it turns out to be mind-blowing, even though you're still incapable of describing it. <laughs> but who cares? You'll never be the same again! Yay! Also, you did a good deed, helping Polly, but she's still the same. She catches your confused look. What? Oh yeah, about that. I lied about the whole unfinished business thingy. <laughs> I just like a good old reverse Romanian Wilkinson! Oh. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Polly's quote. Me. Yolt. Yolt. I'm, Yolt. I'm the best at secret handshakes. <laughs> the best at secret handshakes. Oh my goodness. Dun, 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 dun. Happy super fun times. Those three weeks were made the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After Monster Prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning who we are and who we could be. And you know what? As it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Liam started an inconclastic band that broke all conventions. Their latest album has been a hit. It has no songs at all. The album is actually, actually just a banana set on fire. And be sure, Liam doesn't care if you don't get it. Polly Wait, graduated and doing there? lots of... What is that? Ayahuasca? 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 And now she appears to the people hallucinating to act as their spirit animal. Miranda started a non-profit to help countries without a monarchy, because all countries have the right to be graciously ruled by the Mer Kingdom. During those three weeks, Monster Prom seemed bigger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were lots of battles left in their that war called Youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> also, just look at look at that picture. Great, it's good. I need to go run and grab my computer charger. Ah. Yay. <laughs> I'm now mildly disappointed in myself. <laughs> Friggin' the thing that I dropped, I found it when I got up. I was sitting on it. <laughs> when in doubt, it's under your butt. I guess. Actually, it was more under my thigh. <laughs> oh, poor Blobbert. Now what? Uh, wait for the credits. Yeah, we're gonna get that sweet, sweet Polaroid. Yeah. Even though I've already gotten my Polaroid. Well, the Polaroid that you're getting. Yeah. That sweet, sweet Polaroid. <laughs> wait, and I think I also got the, this Polaroid already as well, because you went for Liam before, as Oz. But it was slightly different because... Oh, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. Because I don't think that the secret the secret endings count to that. You've unlocked six Yay! images. Images! Two, two new images! <clears throat> Reverse all over your Romanian Wilkinson. Hey. Okay, now we get juice in here. As soon juice as I it check up. out these sick new images. And stare at Blobbert for another, like, minute or so. Yeah. Because, why wouldn't you? Blobbert. <gasps> ah! It's so precious! Ah! Wait, wait, hold, hold up. Oh, it's so- oh yeah, I've seen that! Ah, the fan art is too precious! Ah! Uh, the 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 tenth the tenth one on the first page of fan art has blobbered, so you like that. Do I has it? You don't has it. You done has the blobbert. I can see that you done has the blobber. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. oh. 
Like the tenth, yeah, the tenth one on the for on the forced page. One day. Someday Blobbert will be yours again. Yes. Okay, now Juice, get get over here. We're gonna like <laughs> drag you in here. I'm ready to. Five one one. Boop. The game should load instantly, hopefully. Because we already played around. I wanna get some more pasta. Pasta. Be right back. Okay. 70 minutes! It'll probably go faster than that because we skip a lot of dialogue. Yeah, because repeats of dialogue. 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 Did you say dialogue? That's what you said. I said dialogue. It's a G. Not what I heard. Well, you heard incorrect, okay? Okay there, buckaroo. No, no. Okay there, juicy boy. Juicy boy. You know, I made a, I made a personal also, vow to blow myself my to never say that again. <laughs> blow thy nose. <laughs> nose has been blown. Unless this was all a lie and Nose actually has a... Seventy minutes. I have come back with pasta. He hath returned. Seventy minutes. <laughs> spoopy high school. The spoopiest. The spooperest. Right. I'm, st I'm still gonna match up with you. <laughs> Matching. Are you guys doing a bit here? <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna join in on the bit? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> It's 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 short for Jizabel. <laughs> I don't know if that's much better. It's not. I made it worse by accident. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's no problem. This is absolutely horrid. It is. <laughs> Why are we doing this? <laughs> the stupidest pop quiz. Oh man, I can global warming. Keiko, can you read it? It's your chance to fix global warming. Go ahead! It's time to be a real hero. I'll lead the mission to the sun in order to invite the sun to a party of its life. We'll have so many hilarious misadventures that the sun will eventually become cooler. Wink. <laughs> global warming isn't real. I invented it! And now science is claiming authorship because science is a lame copycat with no original ideas. Nah, the world is doomed, but I'll start investing in ships and start a profitable business for the soon-to-be-covered-by-water world. Friggin... Global warming isn't real. Yeah. Did this one last time, so I'll do it again. <clears throat> Friggin, who's reading this one now? Is that Saxton Hale? Yes. <laughs> That's Saxton Hale. You know what, Juicy, it's you read it. actually Saxton Hale. Yeah, you read you it. You read it because of that. School is outdated and lame. We need a new school subject ASAP. Turning people into your puppets through emotional warfare and deception. Lol. Lol. One one, but okay. <laughs> I mean, damn. This country could really use a subject like that in schools. Oh, that's 101. Yes. Yeah, that's what we just, I just said I like, that. But I like lol. <laughs> How to correctly punch a crocodile without terrible consequences. Obviously you have to choose correctly punching a feckin' crocodile. <laughs> like, why wouldn't you choose a feckin' punching how to- how to punch a punch a crocodile with- Crocodilian. 
Or are you still eating your pasta? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll read this one then. My partner just gave you a cool gift for your anniversary, but you totally forgot. Quick, come up with an idea for a great gift. Anything capable of leading them to an overdose of some sorts. Silly toy that makes silly noises. Uh, the head of their fiercest enemy. The abstract concept of gratefulness. Anything on fire. Or a weapon. No, 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 wait. A weapon on fire. <laughs> a pony. Always a pony. Burning. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Hey, I'm gonna just get money and Wait, buy something it, from the shop. It's the, yeah, it's loading. Loading. Okay, there. It, it, it did the load. Still waiting. There we go. It's loading. Oh shoot. Uh here we go. Here we go. What happened? Who did who didn't connect? My like, guess would be juice. Most likely. <laughs> what, what, what's the problem? Connection. Yeah. It stepped. What? But I, it's it's still on my screen. I'll give it a shot. Okay. Did it go back? It... I, okay, I see the thing. Okay. Do you see the thing? Wait, what's the problem? Do you see bitcoins? Yeah, I see the bitcoins. Okay. okay. We're good now. Okay, it's it's that someone disconnected. Okay. Wee. It's fine. Wait. Well, I, I I was never disconnected. Well, it said disconnected on the sc on Sarah's screen, so, uh... I lost connection to one of y'alls for a second. Well, it wasn't it me. Might have been, it might have been me, but only for a, <laughs> um, a second. Ooh, the wolf pack! Nero, you can see I'm Scott now. in the wolf pack talk. I'm, I'm calling the wolf pack. <clears throat> I don't know who- I don't know how we're gonna split up the voices now. Good question. I will never speak. Oh, okay. Scott, Scott, we have the greatest power drink to date! Check this out, bro! Oh, I love power drinks! But wait, this new cutting-edge sports supplement is like no other before. There's no need to mix it with a beverage. You can just consume it using only your nose! Oh my god. It's called... Coca... Yeah, cocaine! Whoa, that totally doesn't sound like your regular power drink. Which definitely means it's cutting edge, just like you said! Yeah, it's like 50% energy drink, 50% protein powder, and 100% raw power! God damn it with these crazy pranks, but before you can do anything, Scott has snorted all the coke! Oh god! <clears throat> Roaring noise, I don't wanna roar. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> I wanna hurt my- I don't wanna hurt my throat. And but he's gone full wolf mode, Damien. and now he's basically unleashed and it's destroying everything he sees. You need to do something to calm him down, but what? Using your vast knowledge of aromatherapy, give him some lavender scented cocaine and neutralize the regular scented cocaine and relax him. Give him a huh. flashy fidget spinner. Um, uh, You have a lot of smarts. <laughs> if the top one is smarts. Which it sounds like it is. No! Ah, no. I was incorrect. I apologize. Wow. No one can I did say a bad. you're unprepared. It's all my fault. Since Wolf Scott seems to be everything but responsive, you just throw a cloud of the coke at his head and hope for the best. He sniffs it and gets even crazier. I mean, it. what did you expect? It was more cocaine. It is as Shakespeare once literally said, what's in a scent that which we call cocaine, but any, any other scent will still be as cocaine-ish. You should study your English classes more. For now you lose two smarts and one fun. Oh. Uh, sorry. It's fun. fun. Hmm. Where's the fun? Who can I turn to? <laughs> I'm going to the washrooms. Okay, skip class without uh, skipping class. Okay. 
skipping class, giving no shits. Chilling in the bathroom with Damien and Miranda. Thank gods for co-ed bathrooms. Everything's going great, and you're obviously very cool until you hear some- Oh snap, it's Crazy Martin the Werebear Janitor! Jero. <laughs> Damn, we're done! If I get caught skipping class again, th they're gonna feed me to the school's dragon! Or even worse, they'll make me come in on a Saturday. That feel. Oh, this is bad, and I didn't bring my champion who would fight to the death to defend my honor. What can we do? Seems they're both waiting for you to do something, but how could you scare a werebear? Uh, Jero ways. <laughs> no time to think. You bust out of the stall and... Make yourself as big as possible. It's showtime. Play dead until he goes away. First <sighs> one. First one. You puff out your cheeks, stuff, stuff a bunch of toilet paper in your shirt, and wave your arms in the air. Crazy Martin has no idea what the hell is happening. He thinks he's having flashbacks to Nom. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, poor, poor Jero. <laughs> As Martin flees the bathroom, Damien puts a hand on your shoulder. That was stupid as hell, but you sure scared him to death. Stupidity plus bravery is my favorite mix. You're rad. Yes, that was superb. For a moment you scared me too. So convincing. You're my knight, <laughs> knightess in shining armor. Defeating a werebear with nothing more than toilet paper. That's something to remember. You get two boulders and one creativity. Let's do this. Yay. What will you do? I don't know. What will you uh, do? What? Let me go to class. I don't think I don't think I've seen that image. <laughs> that is a pretty good image. That day, you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity in at this high school. Oh yeah, right. Oh yeah. Right, we have to attend class. Without warning, Vera pulls you aside and hisses in your ear. Oh my god, the stalker's back. You follow her pointed finger and see a guy dressed in a white toga and winged sandals. Facing away from you, he looks like a creep. He's been following me everywhere. He thinks I didn't notice him checking me out, that mirrored shield he has, but I totally do. Oh. I get such a chore being this beautiful all the time. How am I ever, I ever going to get rid of him? <laughs> I'm gonna feed a damsel to a sea monster. That'll destroy me. He looks Greek. Why not bribe Zeus, king of the gods? Uh, I mean, you do have a lot of money. You do have the money, yeah. Yeah, I do have the money. So you, pay a bunch of, you buy a bunch of wine and hookers from Costco and burn them. Like Costco? Wait, 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 where, where, where was the hooker section of Costco? <laughs> well, you don't know. The oh clouds God. glow with unearthly light. Thunder booms, a bolt of lightning crackles and strikes Vera's stalker. Ow, he screams. Fuck you, dead. <laughs> I wish you were never turned into gold dust and pissed on my mom. Oh. Badly singed, the stalker limps away, shaking his fist that at the sky. Quite pleasing. Hey, that was cool, thanks. The ancient Greeks sure seem to have some odd ideas about how babies are made. You get <laughs> plus two fun and plus one smart. Yeah, I right. just imagine like, hey, hey, where are the um, where's like all of the all of the drinks? <laughs> oh, they're right next to the hooker aisle. They're in the hooker aisle. <laughs> oh, it's same order. At some point, we should do a challenge. Yeah, but I'm terrible at those. I mean, I'd also be terrible at them, but it still seems like fun. Mm. Goes to talk to Coach. You're about to take the first bite of your delicious cafeteria lunch when Coach appears out of nowhere. Stop! You can't eat that! You're not warmed up yet! Do you want to strain your jaw, sprain your esophagus, pull your intestines? Not, that's not worse. I thought I taught you kids better than this. Come on, stand up, let's get our food on! No. You look disappointed. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll let you choose the workout. You've got, we've got two options. Playing with your food, specifically playing football with your food, an absolutely ridiculous number of push-ups. Uh. Hmm. I mean, you do need the fun. Yes. 
coach helps you set up your peas and mashed potatoes in a classic football formation. You animate them with forbidden magics. Perfect. <clears throat> now the food will get all warmed up and it's ready to take the nutrition all the way to your end zone. That, okay. The end zone is your stomach and eventually your butt. Your food throws down the most intense football game ever. It all comes down to a controversial call by the broccoli ref. You turn okay, around to find the whole ref. rest of the cafeteria watching your game and betting on the results. They're even more entertained when you command all the players to dive into your mouth. You gain plus four fun. Oh man, how oh, fun. Give me Damien. You come upon Damien sneering at Miranda's elaborate wear spread, of, spread while her eating serfs chow down obediently at the table. I still don't get why you collect all these stupid forks and spoons and shit. I mean, even the knives don't really look that deadly. Silly boy, the, sil the silverware is not for killing. Things can be for stuff other than killing? That's lame as hell. It's basically useless. I mean, you don't even eat. Your serfs do it for you. Well, of course they do. But they're not using any of your silverware. Naturally, they are, and serfs must eat with their hands. It befits with the lower classes. Oop. So you're saying this silverware collection has no practical purpose? Things have practical purposes? <laughs> These two could go round and round like this forever, unless you say something to dispute. Damien's right, Mary. Maybe it's time you started murdering people with your silverware. Lay off Miranda, Damien. What about your collection of exotic corpses? <laughs> Bad things. <laughs> I mean, I was just giving her shit, but I am in favor of any plan that gets more people murdered. Oh, how barbaric. Are you sure that's the right thing to do? Yep. 100%. Absolutely. Well, alright then. Yum yum. Daisy, the sharpest of these silvered wares in your filthy peasant hands and a go murdering, would you? <laughs> I was kind of hoping you would do the murdering yourself. If we're living in an age wherein a lady can't outsource her senseless murders to her servants, I don't know what the world is coming to. Fair enough. As long as the murders get done, I guess I don't care. Randy even outsources some silverware murder to you and Damien as a team. It really brings you closer to each other. Let's do this! Uh... Bear is drinking her customary lunchtime scotch. Because you can drink whatever the hell you want at this school. But Scott's not making it easy for her. Hey Vera, what you drinking? What? Scotch, why? Cause it smells like a delicious forest fire and I'm curious. What's it called? Scotch. Yes? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what it's called. What? Scotch! Yes? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not saying your name. I'm saying the name of the drink. I'm drinking. It's scotch. <laughs> it's mine? <laughs> no, it's mine. Then why is it then called Scott? Scott. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Scott. <laughs> getting caught up. Oh my god. I, I forgot how much I like this one. That's just what it's called. Ooh, is it like an energy drink for Scots? Yeah, damn it. I mean, it's like an energy drink for Scottish people. <laughs> hey, I'm a Scottish person. I'm as Scottish as it's possible to be. I'm the most Scot. No, God, what will it take to get you to drop this issue? Scott's not going to drop it unless you do something. So you cut in and say... Yeah, it's called Scott's, but today is opposite day, so everything that Scott's is actually Vera's. <laughs> Ooh. You're right, Scott. That drink is your birthright. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> Don't you mean today isn't opposite day? No. Aha! I'm not sorry, not Vera. I guess I'll be taking your drink. Wink. Yeah. Wait, time out. Everything that Scott's is Vera's. Do I have to give Vera all of my stuff? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. And does Vera have to give me all of her stuff? Sure, unfortunately for you, I have no stuff. All my possessions are owned by cleverly disguised shell companies. I'll hand over your wallet. Okay, okay. <laughs> Boy, opposite day sure is the best, isn't it? Sure is. 
After Scott leaves you alone, you and Vera definitely don't spend all his money on cocaine. <laughs> That's like something Polly would do. Yeah. It's me first. Hey, it's look, I'm me. still second. <laughs> Let's do this. What's the way to do today? Uh. Hmm. Go to the library. Boom! That day you spent some time on the library's PCs managing your start kicker. You deceived lots of people with a sensationalist video and impossible promises. Night. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> Plus 100,000 money, but almost everything goes to cover costs you keep only put. Dude, I'd play Boo. After poison, and only Vera has the <laughs> antidote. She does this all the time, it's how she invites you to hang out. Yeah. There you are, thank you so much for coming. I'm embarking on a new criminal enterprise and I need a consul consular. Blah. The That's idea is black. simple, yeah, brilliant. Think Uber, but for killing people. I call it murder. <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out the market is flooded with assassination apps. Assassination apps and blood. Aw, oh, dang it. I need a way to get ahead of the pack, and since you're such a good advisor... Did I hear wolf pack? <laughs> Differentiate yourself by being the only service that offers free-range organic murder. <laughs> Viral marketing, literally, tailor a highly contagious virus to make people love murder. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I don't know what these are. Oh boy. Viral marketing uh, is probably smart. This seems like it would be smart. Smart! Hey! You can do that? Great! You can use my private chemical weapons laboratory. Jesus. And so. This is working better than I ever could have imagined. Demand for murder has gone through the roof since you released that virus. Sure, the side effects include vomiting, bloody tears, male lactation, cobra feet, oh. time dil dilation, rigor mortis, rectal teeth. Oh god! Oh! <laughs> Renegade spleen, micro microaggressions, sudden tattoos, hair trauma, liquefaction, and coughing. And coughing. <laughs> and coughing. But it's all well worth it for the profits I'm raking in. Plus, I'm making a literal killing, sp killing, selling people the antidote for all those side effects. It's not actually an antidote, though. It's actually just heroin. Same difference. Ah, uh, yes. Did you know that they used to give heroin to babies as cost suppressant? Yeah, the real world is exactly as immoral as this video game. But whatever, you gain two creativity and one money. Hooray! Hmm. <clears throat> Can't go to the bathrooms. So, I like you how uh, you got one money because she's just like, alright, here's your cut. Toss yeah, a yeah, coin. Here's your, here's your cut. <laughs> this is fine. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the gym and be adorable. Das! Say an epic dodgeball match. Inspirational speeches. Comebacks. Being a natural born leader. Charm! Charm! Um. Spent the last half an hour arguing with Liam about which celebrities are into paleo diets and about to put an end to it. Okay, this is going nowhere. Let Wikipedia be our judge. Hey, Damien, lend me your phone. I need to check something. Hey! What's this? Most fabulous pixie hairstyles for this spring slash summer season? Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, Damien is checking out fabulous hairstyles? Let me see. That's so sweet. We want to see. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Okay, it's clear Damien is losing his shit over this. Feel kind of responsible, so the least you can do is handle some damage control by stopping Miranda and Polly from seeing his phone too. Divi divert their attention by making money rain. Not enough. Turn Damien's phone into a bird. Uh, I don't. It, it's the other one. I think the other one's what's well, fun, and I don't have enough fun. Uh, you'll have but to do go you with have money. Enough funds? <laughs> but do you have enough funds? Oh, God. What do I do? Money! 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 money. Aww. <laughs> the other so... one was probably fun, though, so either way. Mm. Before they can see Damien's screen, you pull some money out of your pocket and start throwing it at the air. Fortunately, you're like super poor, so you only have change. 
<laughs> Ow, what the fuck is Liz doing? Stop throwing coins at us, it hurts. It is also distasteful display of your blatant poverty. Stop hitting us in the face with your worst qualities. Luckily, I already <laughs> have all of da Luckily, I already have all of Damien's secret endings, so I'm fine with this. Oh my god. Also, stop hitting us in the face with coins. It is not nice. You don't know what to do in your reflexive response. Throw even more coins at them. What? Why do you have so many coins? Stop it! <laughs> Damien punches you in the head. You fall. Nice punch, Damien. Normally I would be against violence, but in this case, your violence put an end to that stupid coin violence. You're a hero, Damien! You saved us from danger! Huzzah! You lay on the ground for a bit. To be fair, you were being a danger to yourself and others. And still, you lose two smarts and minus one fun, er, and one fun for the Owie. Where's the fun? Where's the fun? That's not what I'm quoting. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Uh, let me think. Where are you gonna go? I'm thinking. Show me that money. Let's Buy see. some shit. Oh, you should have bought the cocaine. Aw. <laughs> oh. Who doesn't love regular flavored cocaine? Too poor for this. You t you're a dollar short from cocaine. Just like I was a dollar short from Monster Prom. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you can get a second tattoo. So impractical yet funny glasses. I just want to activate some kind of scene. <laughs> None of these have scenes. <laughs> I'm sad. Does cocaine? Uh, no, it just, it just, like, gives you horrible minuses and stats. Yeah. It gets you to, like, max fun, but your smarts go down, your creativity goes down, your charm goes down. Yeah. <laughs> like, everything goes down. I'm gonna look this up really quick. Monster from cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> you just buy the tampon again. <laughs> Again. Buy the freaking, yeah. Buy the freaking bloody pimp. Of course you can. The tampon only costs a dollar. Yeah. Anyone can buy the tampon at the start of the at the start of the freaking game. Unless you spent your money on something else, which why? Hmm. Are you gonna save up for cocaine? Hmm. Is it worth saving up? <laughs> There's not a lot of time in a short game. Hmm. I mean, you could also buy Bob Ross. Aw, oh, Bob Ross. Casually buy Bob Ross. Oh! What's the thing gonna happen to? Oh, it's happening to you. All right. Oh, that it's weekend, the juice! That weekend, Vera invites you and some friends to an abandoned warehouse to help kill a dude. You wouldn't miss it for the world. When you get there, you find Miranda and Damien are there too. Also, oh. a naked fish man tied to a chair. Oh, everyone's here. Okay. I'm so glad you can make it. We're going to execute this fish man for the crimes he's committed against us. We are indeed. Did you know that fish attempted to express a controversial opinion about my father? And he cut in front of me a line at the pharmacy. And I'm sure he did something to me too. Let's kill him. Now hold on there, Damien. We can't just kill this son of a bitch. This is an execution! We have to make an example of him. Personally, I'm a big fan of quantity over quality. Why don't we just kill his family? We already did that. Why do you think he was saying such treacherous things in the first place? Miranda's right. We need to do something truly extravagant to this upstart. Okay, I'm cool with that. As long as you guys are paying. Oh, we're not paying. That's what Liz is here for. Oh, no, you're not spending your hard-earned cash with this. Luckily, you got a super rich friend you'd love to take advantage of in emergencies. Oh no! <laughs> what, what, what? Who do you choose? <laughs> Decidedly not true. <laughs> she can afford to eat organic food. <laughs> but what? 
It is true. Good old jizz. <laughs> good old jizz. Good old jizz. <laughs> Everyone loves good old jizz. With their financial backing, you're able to purchase the top of the line offering from luxury murder contraptions.biz. <gasps> the Meat Reaver 20XX. It's so beautiful. Tamian, stop drooling. Your soil will melt a hole in the floor and I'll lose the security deposit on this warehouse. The Meat Reaver 20XX looks like a cross between a lawnmower, a beehive, a volcano, a repeating crossbow, and 50 gallons of whole milk. Oh, dang, that's a lot of milk. Damien, sweetie, we all know how much you love murder, but all this excitement is unseemly. You think, you think I'm this excited just because of the murder? Miranda, this is the Meat Reaver 20XX! The only murder contraption that also makes a perfect cappuccino. <laughs> You all settle down for a lovely evening of hot drinks and death. Of course, you'd be a bad friend if you didn't invite Jizz over to join in. Hell yeah. <laughs> you gotta invite Jizz. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why wouldn't you do that? Hey, look, I'm first. Whiz, whiz, Jizz. <laughs> Hmm. Bathrooms. Hey, skip class and go into the bathrooms and hyena suddenly. Come on. Friggin' security. Why? There's like no security and also hair coat. Somehow help you subdue friggin' hyenas. Yay, boldness. Boo. That day you didn't expect to find a fucking wild griffin in the in the friggin' ah. In the WC? In the Wook. In the water closet. The creature is rocking every, everything in, the, in a griffinly manner. You can only assume that, 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 that this thing's natural habitat is a high school bathroom. You realize you're not alone in there. Scott and Damien are unsuccessfully trying to contain the situation. Damien! I'm starting to think this maybe wasn't a good idea at all. Damn, this thing's crazy! How is this happening again? Our plan was perfect this time! Next time we should try with brie cheese instead of gouda. I think that's what drove the Chris and Griffin, Griffin crazy. So, let's make this note. B. R. I. David, is it brie cheese or brie cheese? <laughs> Not now! We need, we need to do something about this, Griffin, or we're gonna get fucking expelled! Hey, you! Come help us! We gotta help calm- we gotta calm this thing down! Because of time in everyone's life when they need to deal with a wild Griffin. That time for you is now. I'm gonna try that specific spell that turns griffins into plates of spaghetti. You knew it was gonna be useful someday. You need to make that griffin respect you, and the only way is by yes! trying to get to a radical hip-hop battle. Oh my god. I don't- I don't think I have enough fun for that. You're right. Oh, ah! I didn't have anything. I'm I'm just gonna go alone. I, I shouldn't even try <laughs> to go for Damien, I'm just losing. Ignoring all the Thank noise you. from the griffin, you start reciting the arcane words long dead language. It might be a long shot, but you at least need to give it a try. Magnificent and mysterious light starts to shine from your hands. You're an explosion and the bathroom fills with a purple smoke. The griffin is still there, but now he's covered in lasagna. Wait, lasagna, what are you doing here? Rip lasagna! <laughs> it seems to make it even angrier and crazier. What have you done, dumbass? Everyone knows that griffins hate getting covered in lasagna. Even I know that! Oh no, look! It's a vegetarian lasagna! They hate that kind the most! Let's hide before it gets worse! Hide in a stall until Crazy Martin, the werebear janitor, for Jero, appears, <laughs> appears to deal with the griffin. Sends all three of you to the principal's office. You get a week of detention for bringing a wild creature onto school premises. Three weeks three weeks more for covering a griffin in lasagna, which is apparently considered a hate crime. Thanks a lot, you racist lasagna bastards! <laughs> You should use that detention time to brush up on your advanced pasta-based spells. That shit is not for noobs. So be careful. Be more careful next time. Smarts and one fun. All right. All right. All right. I'm just, I'm just gonna stay away from this. This is cool. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, <laughs> online poker. Good old jizz. <laughs> Good old jizz. jizz. Online poker plus jizz. You find Scott sadly holding an open bottle of power sludge, the food like elixir that gets you ripped. Bro, this protein shake in this bottle is gross. I don't even know what most of these ingredients are. Labograven? 
Abercrumb Crumbine? Kale? Kale? Anything but kale. Plus, it tastes like butt. Not a stranger's butt, which is exciting to smell, but a gross, nasty butt from Butt Swamp. Butt Swamp? <laughs> We're gonna Butt Swamp. Oh. Can't just toss it, though. I already opened it. Coach is always saying, gotta finish what I start. Bro, help me find something to mix into this powder, uh, this power drink that'll make me buff and taste good. Are you saying that you'll taste good or the drink will taste good? <laughs> <laughs> make the drink taste good? I, I hinted to this and I didn't even you try got, to. You got the drink tastes good, I mean. I don't need to taste good. I think I taste fine. <laughs> oh. 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 Try this white old genie sweat. I stole it from a genie. Good thing I brought these grape-flavored <laughs> steroids. Well, that's, uh... I stole them from a... Oh, my God. Which one How of dare these? You steal for... How dare you steal from Shantae? <laughs> Can't believe you. She's well, only that's a half-genie. Yeah, that's... You're right, you're right. I stole it from a half-genie. <laughs> <laughs> what should I do? Ah. Hmm, I mean, you... Who can I turn to? <laughs> How can I learn who? <laughs> Where's the fun? I don't even know what either of these would be. <laughs> Me either. I'm just gonna say great flavored steroids. Awesome, bro. Alrighty. So Dude, fun. yes! How'd oh, you know that my one problem with steroids is that they didn't taste like grape? <laughs> now I can get my buff on and get my recommended daily value of fruits at the same time. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> now that's healthy. You think it's probably not healthy, but you're not a doctor. The doctor you stole the steroids from was a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Two turn, one fun. Let's do <laughs> the doctor oh, you stole the steroids. I wish I could quit Let's bumping my dime. Jesus, you're gonna like murder somebody. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. So intense, both teams decide to raise the stakes by betting part of your charm against part of the other team leader's charm. You win amazes your whole team, and their spirit is fueled by determination. You win and take plus two charm from the other team's leader. She's now a bit less fabulous. <laughs> Oof. Between class periods, you discover a severed horse head in your locker. <laughs> There's a note in its mouth telling you to meet Vera ASAP. I'm so glad you've come. I have another crime problem which would benefit from your insight. <laughs> It'd be funny if she said your name, so it's. I'm so glad you've come, Chiss! <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I would have died. Thanks to your input, murder has cornered the market in app based assassinations, and yet. The other crime lords don't take me seriously! Just because I'm not a 40-year-old man with a scary scar, these sexist morons think this is just as phase for me. Since when did having a killer body and flawless skin disqualify a girl from a life of crime? It's disgusting. How can I show these chavinous goons what crime really means to me? Come on, think of something. You're my most trusted advisor. Quit crime. They'll come crawling back once they see how bad it is without you. Write a song about it, I'll help. Oh, I mean, have a lot of creativity. Uh, creative. Creative-ish. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Seems like, but, uh... Not, that's, this seems like it would be bold, wouldn't it? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. Me neither. Uh, the, uh, the song. Okay! Yeah. Yeah. Very well, I've always fancied myself a pop star, just without the singing, basically. I've just always fancied myself fabulous. <sighs> Mood. Well, Chop Chop, get to work writing me a hit single that will show my true love of crime. One might have frenzied songwriting later. I like... <laughs> <laughs> Big... Crimes that I cannot lie. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfuckers can't deny. <laughs> when a girl walks in with that mask on her face yelling, put the money in the briefcase. You get it done. <laughs> because if you don't, I swear I'll end all your lives. I freaking will them test me. <laughs> well, you're right. The song was a great idea. It even helped me rob this bank. Oh my god. <laughs> the security footage of Vera's bank robbery becomes the number one hit single overnight. 
she becomes too popular to prosecute. <laughs> the other crime lords are forced to accept her devotion to crime. Especially when she threatens a repeat performance of her single at every one of their safe houses. <laughs> <laughs> With all disagreements mended, everyone agrees to have a gang war to celebrate. GANG WAR! <laughs> Gain plus two boldness and plus one fun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, back to the normal order. Oh, oh lunchtime. Please say the wolf pack are there. Oh. I'm going. You do it. You desperately trying to enjoy your meal in peace, but coach insists on striking up a conversation. Hi, my beloved. Hey there, bud. What you drinking? What milk? That's it. That's hardly a drink at all. Everybody knows the drink is the backbone of a balanced lunch. And what would we be without backbones? I don't know. My doctor yells at me whenever I try to find out. Oof. Oof. <laughs> but enough about me. Let's get you juice. Juice! Me. Okay, juice, get over there. You can have sports sauce or muscle juice. Which will it be? Swole juice. <laughs> muscle juice. Wait, no. no, I'm not juice, I'm jizz. Soul, oh, soul right. jizz. <laughs> <laughs> soul jizz. <laughs> Let's get you jizz. <laughs> Muscle jizz. <laughs> <laughs> what is it going he, he on just anymore? just beats up the egg. <laughs> <laughs> Both whiskey. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, can't, I can't read. I. If, Okay, when, when you choose the thing, I don't think I can read Coach's lines. I'm too busy laughing now. <laughs> Juice, you do it. I don't remember offering you any whiskey. But you chose it, so I've offered it to you. Otherwise, why would you have chosen it? Well, guess I, I have to go <laughs> buy you a case of whiskey. Coach marches off to illegally purchase a whole bunch of alcohol on your behalf. When all your classmates realize they can get Coach to buy them booze just by asking you, or just by asking, you become the coolest kid in school. Gain for fun. Let's go. Get <laughs> muscle jizz. <laughs> oh god, you know, just for just because I kind of given up on Damien, also because Bear is there for you. I'll just go to Paul. Thank you. Find Paul and Liam. Not eating as usual. You know. Oh. Uh, okay, it's this one again. Yeah, we did this uh, one. Uh, not eating food. We need to not eat food. Blah, 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 the cooking advantages. <laughs> you should choose Polly since I chose Liam. That's what I was going to do, actually. You're like, eh, it's Polly anyways. Freaking, she, freaking, she literally made cat's pajamas. What? Unbelievable. That's not even food. What isn't even food? That pile of yarn you're knitting in a frying pan. It's clearly a set of pajamas for a cat. Oh, is it supposed to be food? Sorry, I forgot what we were doing. God damn it, Polly. Yes, it was supposed to be food, and yours obviously isn't. Oh yeah? Then how come it was the food contest, huh? Won the food contest. Well, Got him. Because. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll catch you all later, I gotta go find a cat to put these pajamas on. Later you run into Polly again, and she lets you pet her kitty, if you know what we mean. It means you get to pet the cat she put the pajamas on. What did you think it meant? Let's do this! <laughs> Let's do this, Leroy! <laughs> Jeez! You find Varys sitting in front of the- <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> you find Varys sitting in front of a pile of money instead of food. Usual. Damien comes over and drops his own money pile on the table. And also some organs. Not bad. Hmm, not bad, but I prefer to exert a little less effort for my income. A dejected swamp creature slumps over to the table and adds some money to Vera's pile. Income? You mean this stuff? This is just what people throw at me to get me to stop punching them. And this is what people throw at me. F ah, this is what people throw at me to keep me from revealing what kind of porn they're into. I think Vera's been talking to Liam. <laughs> but I agree, the money is only secondary. The friends on their faces are their own reward. Still, I'm always looking to improve efficiency. 
and if you try developing business contacts in hell, your victims will be even more terrified if they know death won't save them. Yeah, but that doesn't work on the undead. For those you need a priest. A priest? You know how my family feels about priests. Ugh, I'm sick of terrorizing people one at a time. There's gotta be a way to terrorize everybody in the cafeteria at once! And make money at the same time, I'm sure there is. That is, after all, the essence of capitalism. You're right. You're, You're right. Set the building on fire and charge an exit. <laughs> <laughs> Trick everyone in the cafeteria into having an orgy, then film it. Blackmail in bulk. Hmm. 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 Uh, don't know. Are you gonna go off your heart, or are you gonna go after going after? Real question. I'm doing the black man. Oh, uh, I, I didn't. Yeah, that's what I wanted. <laughs> It is. Simple, elegant, raunchy. I like your style. But how are you going to trick a whole room of people into having an orgy? Don't tell me you don't know, know how to do that. Why do you know how to do that? Actually, you know, it's fair. Is this, is this something you do all the time? Is this something you don't do all the time? I thought you were a prince of hell. Yeah, but I'm, I'm prince of... Bernie part of hell, not the sexy part of hell. <laughs> He's blushing. That explains it. Well, to answer your question, this is a room full of high schoolers. A slight breeze could instigate an orgy. Oh. <laughs> Although the succubus sauce I snuck into the sloppy joes won't hurt either. That could mean two things. <laughs> it certainly doesn't. You, Vera, and Damien retreat to a safe distance to film the sexy carnage and avoid the fluids. Ew. Oof. Let's try places. Random. Wow, ending it off on good, good, normal order. Wow. Wow. Not normal order. Wow. Wow. Wowie. 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 Oh my goodness. Freaking Blobbert, best boy. Yeah. Woomie. <laughs> Woomie. 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 Blobbert is an inkling. A blobling. I'll just capitalize blobling. on that fun while I go oh, alone. Dab. The dab. The dab. The dab. The dab. The dab is real. Friggin' the demons and dabbing. Where's demons? And, and Juan the magical Latino cat. Almost dog-like whimpering and go see what sort of poor animal is in pain. The answer is Scott, who is cross-eyed with concentration. He yelps and snaps out of it. Oh, bro, thank goodness you're here. I was trying to think all by myself, and it was really hard, you know? <laughs> See, I know I'm, I'm the best at exercising. I'm the exercise master, the exercise lord, the exorcist! The exorcist? <laughs> but I've never tried exercising my brain, and in a way, the brain is the most important part of the body, too, you know? Sort of, a, it's... It's sort of three and one, because it'll make me better at exorcism, <laughs> and being smarter will keep me from getting bad grades and kicked off the sports team. Oof. That wasn't three things or one thing, but you still have some ideas. <clears throat> books are like weights for your brain, and heavier weights are better, so you just need to lift really heavy books. Let's brainstorm, by which I mean let's make a literal actual storm inside your brain. Hmm. Hmm. I'd go with that one. Yes. No. What? I thought that'd be fun. Right. A storm in my brain? The most amazing thing I've ever heard. This is gonna go down terribly. It is. <laughs> Here's my water bottle. Pour some water in my ears. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's, that's... bless you again. Wait for. God bless. <laughs> bless you with our God dying bless. No dying. You happily oblige, knowing that your plan is guaranteed to work. And this actively plugged in strip cord will make it will make for the perfect lightning. Oh god. Scott takes the literal actual sparking strip wire and sticks it into his water field ear. You lunge, but it's too late to stop him. 
Scott's ear crackles and then catches fire! If Scott were a human, he would certainly be dead, but with his werewolf strength and his endurance as a star athlete, he's shockingly unharmed rather than a singed ear. And the look of utter betrayal on his face. I'm sorry! I don't feel any don't smarter. I don't feel any smarter. In fact... Oh my goodness. I feel pretty dumb for listening to you. you let me down, bro. You let me way, way down. Built you up like a buttercup and let you down like a nice autumn rain. Why would you ever tell someone who feels he isn't smart to create lightning in his head? You're the literal worst and you're lucky the ASPCA doesn't cart you off for animal abuse. You lose two charm and one creativity. Let's go. Uh, hmm. Sure, I'm gonna go to the auditorium and friggin' get figurative oral mm -hmm. sex from muses. <laughs> You go up to the light booth to see how Polly and Damien are doing. Lame! That's how we're doing. Oh, you just answered the narrative's question. If I know they'd stick me up here just because I missed auditions to get that monster truck rally. I still would have gone to that monster truck rally. But I would have gone, like, nine more fights while I was there! <laughs> Jesus. Why'd I have to be on so many cool drugs during casting? I thought the lights were butterflies and I just wanted to play with them. Imagining that is adorable. It's sad It's enough. all in the past now. As long as we're here, so I guess cool. we better make the best of it. By fucking with Liam! But he's so hard to mess with. He's, like, really good at acting. Come on. Between the three of us, I'm sure there's something we can do to make him forget his lines. Rewrite the whole play, but just Liam's lines. Rocket, rocket launcher. launcher! Rocket, rocket launcher. launcher! Oh yeah, oh. duh! Thanks for reminding me about this rocket launcher I was carrying around. Damien fires a rocket at stage just as Liam makes his entrance. It doesn't kill anybody, because all the actors are already undead, but it makes them, it makes them forget their lines. After the show, a talent agent approaches the three of you about starring in a new reality show. It's called PRANKED with a rocket launcher! Looks like you got a career ahead of you in showbiz. You gain two money and one fun. Let's hey. Do this. Let's do this. <clears throat> Hmm. You can go burn people at dodgeball again. <laughs> That's true. I can go burn people. In dodgeball! Which isn't part of the interactions within it. But where we're killing Wink at one of your team- He's totally mesmerized. Most epic Wink ever. Damn, you know how to win over people's hearts. <laughs> you can do your charm. Wink. Your mind's barely on what you're doing. All you're really concerned about is your situation with Vera. Throughout her latest gang war, you've been her closest <laughs> and most trusted advisor. Maybe too close. You're worried Vera has become so dependent on your advice she's blind to your true romantic intentions. If only you had the courage to tell her how you really feel. After all, you don't want to end up in the advisor zone. <laughs> too <Dang>. real. <laughs> you're so lost in thoughts of quitted love, you hardly notice Vera sneaking up on you. Yeah, that's also because of the invisibility cloak you helped her pick out. Vera Potter. There you are, I was just going to pick you up. We're got- we've got a date tonight. A date? A date? <laughs> Perhaps your affections aren't unrequited. Don't fucking read my lines. Lie! <laughs> it happens a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's cause I like, read it in my head, and then I accidentally say it out loud sometimes. <laughs> I mean, it's literally fine. But the heads of the Monster City's major crime factions to celebrate the end of the latest gang war. You're such a good and loyal advisor, I can't imagine going without you. Oof, advisor's owned. Right, of course. Trying to hide your disappointment, you accompany Vera to the peace conference. But soon. <laughs> you can have horse racing, but if you think I'm giving up murderous monopoly, you've got your head so far up your ass, it's popped back at your shirt collar. Larry the actual crocodile <laughs> snapped his fangs. The actual Bembozo crocodile. Bozo Gianetti of the deranged clown assembly honks in disapproval. <laughs> Timmy the knife baby shoots his <laughs> rattle menacingly. Alright, you scumbag, settle down. According to the background, this is all happening in the, uh... the gym. <laughs> but it's too late. Larry the croc unveils a wicked machine gun 
Gunbozo makes a rocket launcher out of twisted balloons, and to me, the knife baby produces a lot of knives. Hey, advisor, a little help here? If you don't say Vera now, you'll never have a chance to confess your feelings. So take a deep breath and confess your feelings or kiss Lenny the Croc on his big crocodile mouth. <laughs> what? What? I don't I'm, pretty think, sure uh, the, I'm pretty sure the second one's boldness, and the just, top one is charm. Just confess your you feelings! Can, just confess! Uh, okay. <laughs> oh! Yeah! Oh, not so charming! <laughs> With no thought of the danger you're in, you turn to Vera and bare your soul. You confess you've been advising her this whole time, not out of love of crime, but your love of her. I... I don't know what to say! Partially because there are lots of guns pointed at me right now, and you're supposed to be helping with me with that? You explain that you understand this isn't exactly the best time, but you really need to know if she feels the same way. Bear takes cover behind an upturned table to avoid Larry the Croc's machine gun fire. Listen, it feels sort of manipulative of you to bring this up in what is literally a life or death situation. Oof. Oof. A squeaky clown grenade bounces <laughs> into Vera's lap. She picks it up and flings it back, where it explodes in a flash of pretty colors and fart noises. Like, are you only going to help me out of here if I reciprocate your feelings? That's literally emotional blackmail. You ask her if that means she's not into you. What? Look, I don't even know right now. I'm being shot at. You're also being shot at. Fucking be cool. But you can't be cool if Vera doesn't love you. You don't want to live. You step out from cover, only to realize that that was really stupid of you. <laughs> that was really stupid, and you actually do want to live. <laughs> you managed to take two bullets and knives on your way back to cover. Thankfully, Vera is able to use your distraction to escape. Less thankfully, your behavior was extremely uncool, and she will remember. You lose two bullets. Vera will remember time. that. Oh. I think also, she'd still mom, date you. Also, my mom has hey, arrived baby. home. I can't read my lines now. <laughs> sure thing. All right. Go along. You know what? I'm gonna still try and ask Baby Note anyways. It's not gonna go well. I'm gonna do it anyways. Hey, you. Come on, Vera. Let's go. Someone else read the stuff. <clears throat> You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to Monster Prom with you. Prom? With you? What a new! What a new! Oh. I have more fun setting out ants on fire, which is what I'll actually be doing on prom night. Setting ants on fire is rad! <clears throat> now get out of my sight! Ah, uh, sad, Aww. sad days. I got an achievement. <laughs> Forget for me Apple getting rejected? Loser. <laughs> Oh dang it, I failed at getting a date for Wolf Prom. Oh <laughs> man. It's like right. twice as many failed proms. Right. You ask no one to prom because you don't need anyone else to make the most of the night. Sometimes you feel like you have to get a date to be anyone in this wicked world. But that's not true. You're your own person and that's the most important thing. Love is wonderful, sure, but you have no hurry in finding it. Prom shouldn't be a deadline, but a night to remember. And you do, so you have a wonderful night. Going hey, alone to prom doesn't mean being this. lonely. You have tons of fun with your classmates. You rock! Nothing is as sexy as being independent and strong on your own, and people notice. So who knows, maybe eventually you might date one or some of them. But today, today you marry the knight. Let's do this! <laughs> you finally plug up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Prom together? I mean, I don't want nonsense to interfere in my skyrocketing career. But what success have- but what a success if you can't enjoy yourself from time to time, right? Ooh. And you're not that bad, I must admit. Ooh. <laughs> okay, it's settled. You'll, you will help me enjoy myself. He's done it. Don't read too much into that. We can discuss the details later. See you there. The world is ours to take. At, At one, one point, point prom was raided by, by the police. <laughs> hey. Ah! hey How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> they were looking for Vera, probably on account. <laughs> Of one of her many crimes against humanity. Cards well, against humanity. Steps ahead. By that time, you were flying to Madagascar, sharing a glass of wine. You might now be your partner in crime, but you also turned prom night into a trip together, so it was worth it. Most likely to become president. A party! <laughs> oh my God. I have almost seen all of the events. 
That's biggest very mystery sad. in life is how all this was necessary for my career. <laughs> Man, do I know the saddest part? You could have gotten that secret ending on my side because it said that you were so charming. <laughs> oh my god. It, it lied to you, Keiko. Indeed. It lied to me. That's, wh that's why I was like really surprised when that happened. It gave you false hope. Also, I, like, oh, I hope this happened. loads. <laughs> it's never gonna load. Oh, did it? It's it's still loading yeah. for me. And loading for me. I'll wait. Well, I'll wait forever. It's, it's, to suck. it's because Juice actually got to go to got to go to prop with somebody. <laughs> oh, I'm going. I have to go through all the dialogue. I guess. Well, now I'm on the credits. <laughs> Um, oh, you guys, does not, you guys does not have anything? No, it's just on the loading screen. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks to suck. <laughs> Very. But I want... I'm, I'm two for two on this game so far. <laughs> loading. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, uh, like six or seven for like 80. <laughs> <laughs> I like this game. It's a good game. It is a fun game. It is a fun game. It's also really stupid sometimes. It's absolutely the dumbest. Yeah, but it's it's dumb in a good way. Yeah. Uh. Eh. Oof. Ow. Okay, well this is gonna be stuck on the loading screen forever. Maybe it'll be fixed when my credits end. Maybe? I don't know. They're still going. That would be really stupid. It would be really stupid. I don't know why I would have only loaded for me. Juice, what have you done? I didn't do it. Juice, what have you done? I'm the chosen one because I'm the only one that won the game. Thanks well, for playing. Well, te so te focused. Te technically, Let's Sarah go. also won. <laughs> I want it being alone. Yeah, because I have uh, actually because because I've actually gotten the ending where you try to go to prom alone, but you still get rejected. <laughs> so you get like the rejected screen, but there's nobody there but you. <laughs> it was really sad. Yeah, it's like you were alone. There's one where like, uh. You eventually marry, like, someone named Ash, but then you find out, like, they weren't actually, like, human or something. <laughs> I don't know. Oof. Uh, it was funny. I like the one if you go so- if you go, oh, like, no, on your was, own. I remember now! It was, like, you marry a banshee named Ash, and then they found out you went to Monster Prom alone and left you after you were happily married for years. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. I like the ending where if you if you go alone with the um, the erotic dragon fanfiction. I keep trying to get that one because that's actually the first one I ever saw because it was I saw it um, back when this game was still being like developed in like a video about it, and I was like, I want this ending, and I never got it. I got it by you accident. Game, did you nope, the game ever loaded? It's not no. Loaded. I'm gonna alt F4. I'm on the menu now, so. Uh... Yikes. I ult have for it. What can I say except yikes? <laughs> except yikes. It's gonna be a yikes for me, Chief. At least I got all this. <laughs> I mean, I needed it the most. Alt F4. Oh, wait! Uh, yeah, you uh, guys uh, wasted like seven minutes of your life. I mean, I already. Okay. I already ult have for it. Did you already have all that? What? Did you already have, have all like the for that? I had the and achievements. I didn't have. I don't have any endings with Vera. So. Oh well, sucks to suck. Indeed. Right. Now to reopen the game to see if I still unlocked anything. I would hope you did. Maybe. You oh! Just did. Oh wait! If you re when you restart the game, it'll bring you to the credits. Hey. There you go. Because it did. It did that for me. I can skip all this. 
Are we still going to do OJ, or is it getting late? I mean, I have to go. Oh. Well, big sad. Hey, the credits! Hey, <laughs> uh, see, I told you. You did it. Da, 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 da. <laughs> It's only that good. the Why world is it... was gonna end And we had no minutes to spend with me or your friends Did you take the first bus over to my house? I need to listen to the song more on my own free time Okay, but now what though? Oh, you used to listen to this a lot Santa. Yeah What now? I mean We can add for OJ and also, wow, <laughs> tag Wally. Wow. Wow. Tag wow. Yeah, tag Wowie. Wowie. Wow, wow, Wally. Again, I don't know if corrosive is actually here, but it says that he's in the chat. So... Oh. I don't know. Lurking uh, corrosive. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to. I can do at least a game. And game. We need to like we need to like get get general with this. Oh, I got us I got a item from in the store. Okay. Ooh. Got the friggin' spooky ring pyramid thing. Ooh. Ooh. Aww. I got the I got a Vera and Fire Girl Polaroid. Kelly don't even bother remembering her name because like nobody plays with her. I mean I I, li I, I like her. I don't remember some of the main people's names. Hang on, I okay, hang on. Actually hang on. I got it. Oz Brian. It's I, Amira. I actually It's Amira, I remember it. I actually don't remember the Frankenstein girl's name because people keep naming her and I only remember the names they named her. Oof. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's fine. I usually see her as Fran because that's what Jero calls her. I see. When's the Christmas event happening in OJ? Right now. Not actually. I was about to say. <laughs> Telling lies? Yes. I am. Telling lies? Yes. All, all my yes. All your yes are belong to you. You know, on the bright side, I unlocked two uh, pictures today. <laughs> from the Liam ending and from the Wilkinson ending. He doesn't want to reverse all the I like this OJ anymore. lobby. Okay, bye now. I shall poof. Night, night, Kiko. Okay, night. bye, Kiko. Just look at Blobbert. Look at Blobbert. Okay, I have to look at Blobbert first. I am obli I'm legally obligated to. I guess I should unmute the monster prom room. Yeah, probably. <laughs> because I own monster prom now. Yeah, you own it now. <laughs> I think I'll own it now. Yeah, go to go to friggin' narrator blubbert. Yeah. <laughs> what is better though, narrator blubbert or dipper blubbert? <laughs> They're both pretty great. They're both wowie. They're both wowie. Very wowie. What a very wowie night. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, actually, bye now. Bye bye. Okay, actually, bye. <laughs> like, is th is this that H game? <laughs> it's really good. Liam designed early concept. He looks cute. Wowie. They gave him like the beanie at one point. Mm. Where's his blobbert? Where's my blobbert at? Damn it. Blobby I was boy? promised a blobbert. Blobby boy. I'll get you. Are you gonna blobby give boy. me a blobby? Where are you gonna look at a blobby? Or is that just on your there. screen? <laughs> there where? On on screen. Oh, you want me to open your stream? 
<laughs> Fine. Fine. <laughs> Open your stream. I'll watch an ad. <laughs> oh no, there, there he is. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> That's what a very wowy night. Wowy. Oh, one more uh, unlocked fan art, and I'll unlock the Blobbert fan art <laughs> that Keiko was talking about. You could have got your fan art added. <laughs> I need to get rid of the new notification. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Rip Blobbert in the roller coaster love picture. picture. I love this picture I sent you. I don't. I'm gonna keep looking at it. I'm gonna be like, that's dumb. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Wowie. Like I said, I'll probably be able to do like one OJ game. Okay. Da, 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 da. It doesn't take about a year. Yeah. I'm going to uh, end the stream, start up OJ, and restart the stream. Okay.